Here we go. Here we go. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Let's go. Oh, yes, sir. Wakey, wakey. Hands off those snake eggs. Rod Ryan Show checking in. Free beer Friday. Thank you, Specs. We got beer every hour for you. Big Bad Brad. Had no sex last night. This woman, his mom, there's uh, his chick, his mom. <laughs> his wife cuts him off. <laughs> uh, Big Bad Brad's going to go for win number two in the fresh out of bed head-to-head challenge. He's a five-time Hall of Famer. He knows what he's doing. Dave Matthews Band tickets in homeroom. We'll give you those on the Fun Fact Flashback. Limp Biscuit tickets at 720. 820. You know what we're doing. You know what we're doing. It's Risk It for the Biscuit. Last day? Question mark? Let's see what happens. Um, but we are going to play at 820 this morning, a chance to win some cash. Thank you to our good friend, Mr. Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. Um, alternative income will be at 910 and some in there the whole hour of the 9 o'clock uh, will be all you talking. It's open phones Friday. Today I see nothing above a 20% chance of rain, but uh, 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 Saturday and Sunday, 50% chance of some scattered thunderstorms. We'll get into it. But first, Tess is going to tell us, give us Houston's headlines. Yeah, so a retaliatory strike against Iran has been launched by Israel, U.S officials confirm missiles have struck a number of locations in, inside Iran with no word yet on whether they were there were any casualties. So that's the big international story that everyone's talking about here in Houston. The police department has reviewed all of the more than 4,000 adult sexual assault cases that were suspended because of lack of personnel. Uh, Chief Troy Finner announced the completion of the review yesterday, and he says that more than 3,400 cases were cleared, suspended, or inactivated, mainly for lack of additional leads. The rest are still under investigation. Finner says HPD is still reviewing 264,000 other incident reports that had been suspended. Tomorrow is 420, and not only that, but it's a, is it a palindrome? When yeah. it's the same forwards as it is reverse, and it's not going to happen again for another thousand years. So that's kind of special in 2024. We have all the best food deals on 420 on a blog page. You can go check th- that out. There's also some 420 related stories making the rounds. Um, yeah, and just like back to the food deals. <laughs> Popeyes has um, a munchies menu that offers any of its chicken sandwiches for four twenty each. So that's probably the coolest one there. Dude, I am so big. <laughs> Netflix is announcing that it will stop reporting its quarterly subscriber numbers. The streaming service said in a letter to shareholders this week that membership is just one component of the company's growth. But we know that Netflix did add 9.3 million subscribers. I mean, when they stopped that password sharing, that was a really good move from them. From them. So they said they're going to stop doing these quarterly reports in 2025. Um, but they'll means con- that they're going to go down because... You got the jump when you made everybody buy their own now. They said they're still going to talk about subscriber milestones, but yeah, they're like not going to be reporting quarterly like they usually do. Last week's total solar eclipse pushed Soundgarden's 1994 hit Black Hole Sun to... Number one on Billboard's Hot Hard Rock Songs chart. Yeah, we so, played it more. Yeah, 4.2 million official streams. That's a 34% jump. It got 2.5 million in radio airplay audience, which is up 19%. It also had, you know, a lot of downloads here in the U.S. So congrats to Soundgarden and shout out to the Eclipse. Those are Houston's headlines. I'm imagining Bonnie Tyler's song had to go through the roof. Everybody, every like TV station was using that one for yeah. sure. All right, what you got over there? The Astros are back in action tonight. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, it's good because Verlander, good, right? right? Yeah, uh, they're going to open up a weekend series with the Nationals in D.C. Verlander is making his first All start right. of the year. He'll be going up against Washington's McKenzie Gore. First pitch is at 545. You can listen to the game on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. The NBA play-in games continue tonight at 6 o'clock. The Heat are going to play the Bulls for the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Then at 8.30, the Pelicans take on the Kings for the final spot in the West. You can watch both of those games on ESPN and TNT. NBA playoffs officially start tomorrow. So do the Stanley Cup playoffs. I know you're excited about that, Rod. Us and four other people are excited about that. There's six now. 
I just got. I just heard from a sixth person in Houston that's excited about hockey. Good. (laughs) Good. Um, In soccer, Houston Dynamo FC is going to be back on the field tomorrow night. They'll host Austin FC at Shell Energy Stadium. That's going to kick off at 7.30. You can watch that one on Apple TV. And I got the uh, Texans' new third helmets that they leaked yesterday. I'll put those on the sports blog page for you today. Would you say mixed reaction or more bad reactions than good? I saw mixed, but more more negative, I feel like. I saw more negative, too. Don't worry. CJ Stroud looks good in everything. Yeah. CJ Stroud looks good in everything, and it doesn't matter if you're throwing touchdowns. Poll question. You smoke weed? Uh, <laughs> do you smoke marijuana? Yeah, doper. Yeah? What are you? You vape? Do you Do you do the edibles? Uh, that's the question. Doing uh, weed? Obviously. <laughs> I think the dead giveaway is when you ask about marijuana, the person that's saying marijuana does not do marijuana. Yeah. (laughs) I've been told that, that I've used that before. And it's like, Rod, it's really obvious you don't partake. (laughs) Uh, Let's go. That's on the X at Rod Ryan Show. First phone call is going to be our first beer winner. Let's do the damn thing. The most interactive show on the radio. Hit it.
All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's going to be a great day. Hit it! Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. What up, Brother Rod? Well, there you are. Hi, what's your name? First name is Tim, brother. Tim, would you like a case of beer? I've been trying forever. I would love a case of beer. I mean, we've been giving beer away here for 20 years on the Rod Ryan Show every Friday. Um, I'm glad you're in the number now that you can walk around and say that you're one of the proud owners. That is sweet. <laughs> Where are you from, Tim? I'm out of Katie. K-Town. All right. Well, listen, congratulations. I appreciate you getting started with us. I don't know. I, I feel, I'm. you know, a lot of times when we do a poll question, I'll ask people that are on the phone with us. I feel weird asking people about weed. I don't yeah. think everybody wants to talk about it. You know, I the, mean, it's still not legal here, so right? it's weird. But it's still pretty open. It's still pretty open. You won't get arrested for it, right? Like, you'll get oh, a ticket. I don't know how any of that works. I really don't. Okay. Um, Tim, you smoke weed? <laughs> Been many years. Wait a minute. Not in many years? Uh, not in many, many years. But right now, your current situation <laughs> is a no? I'm asking people... On nope. uh, on the X, happy 420. Are you in the weed game, including smoking, edibles, and vaping? I don't know what else to put on there. Bonging? I don't know how else to word these yeah, things. please put bonging as an Bonging. <laughs> well, piping. if you have my kids, every, every question. Are you piping? Um, okay. <laughs> I so, keep bonging it up. Are you uh, <laughs> You spliffing? You ripping? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, all right, you're a no, Tim? That's a no. Okay. Hard no. All right, bro. Listen, I'm going to give you a bell for that. He's not bonging this morning. You're not bonging. <laughs> uh, I can't function if I don't bong. Thank you, you Tim. Being, what percentage, I Tessa? I have to bong what, every morning. It's early. What percentage of our audience is a no? What percentage? Now, the, uh, the options. Like, hang on. Like hang on. 90. Hang on. Hang on. The options are, you know, you, you heard how I worded it. You know, are you in the weed game? Yes. Occasionally. <laughs> no. What percentage of our audience is no? I'm sorry. I'm Why are you laughing? laughing? I'm laughing at the way wording of the question. Are you in the weed game? Are the, hey, are you in the weed game? Well, you sound like a cop. How would I? <laughs> You're the fed. Does anybody have another way to word it? Because it's because edibles is not smoking. So I couldn't put, do you smoke weed? Do you weed? Do you weed? <laughs> do you even weed, bro? Do you do weed? Do you do Make weed? The, Make that the question. I think like no. 90% of our audience is a no right now because they're it's up early. very early. Um, it's, Just put the do you do weed and then you'll go viral because somebody will screenshot that and be like, look how out of touch these people are. It's 62% of our audience no. Ah. More people in the weed game than you think. Functional weed heads. Uh, it's the way that I worded it. 22% uh, <laughs> of our audience is in the weed game and 17% occasionally in the weed game. And like 10 of them accidentally hit no when they meant to say yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, get, I always factor that in. I get those almost every day. Dude, I voted this and dumb Elon Musk won't let me change my you answer. You can't change it, which is crazy. I said I can't help you on that. I don't have an edit button either, um, which is why it's going to remain, are you in the weed game? Um, that's why. So that's going to be up there all day. There are a bunch of food deals uh, here on 420 today and a palindrome. I don't think weed people care about that. Oh, I dude, really no. don't. I mean, a palindrome, if you explain a palindrome and you're like really high, like somebody's probably like, whoa. Yeah, like, they're probably the more. Best in, 420 ever, dude. Probably more impressed with Taco Cat than anything else. That too. All right, mostly cloudy today, 20% chance of rain, 87. So these warm temperatures continue today. Uh uh, that's it. Tomorrow, 50% chance of scattered storms, high of 78, 50% chance of morning showers on Sunday, high of 65 on Sunday, guys. Yeah, cooling off a little bit this weekend. It's not just because of the rain. Yeah, it's going to cool off quite a bit. So you know the rundown. I got to take a break. Big Bad Brad, your ass better be up and ready to go. Um, DMB tickets on Fun Fact Flashback. Limp Biscuit at 720. Risk it for the biscuit. It's coming your way at 820. Last day. Eh, is it?
They're stopping at traffic on the south side, 288 northbound between the South Sam Tollway and airport. It's about a nine-minute delay. A disabled vehicle is also blocking a left lane on I-45 northbound at Cullen. That is your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan show for sure. Happy four twenty um, today. Twenty percent chance of rain, mostly cloudy. Eighty-seven, and then it cools off over the weekend. We discussed fifty percent chance of scattered thunderstorms tomorrow. The high will be seventy-eight. It cools off even more on Sunday with a fifty percent chance of morning showers. High of sixty-five. I imagine four twenty is going to be a standing order as far as trending all day today. Um, I don't know. I think I think Taylor Swift and her dropping her album is like the biggest oh, news sure. in the world uh, right now. Um, our our man Mundo got up at midnight to listen to the album. He gave me a full review. Uh, he loves it. I yeah. was up with my wife listening to it. Oh, yeah. Matt Healy. They're they're talking about Matt Healy in every song. Taylor Swift's on the sports blog page. She is. She she has a couple of Travis Kelsey references too, though. Okay. Well, she's on the music blog page as well. Cause, Perfect. Because I, you know, please every time we say at least one time, every time that Taylor Swift is mentioned, Pearl Jam also has a new album out today. Yeah, right. It, it probably not T-Swift. It probably won't trend, but we have to mention it. So go right. ahead. Right. Yeah. Um. Fort Fortnite. The the First song on the Tortured Poets Department album, which is Taylor Swift's album, debuted at number one on U.S. Apple Music. It's the highest debut for a song in the history of Apple Music. What's so, it called? Um, Fortnite. That's my favorite game. Is she talking about me in the with, song? It's yeah. with Post Malone. Post Malone. Posty's oh, on it. The video yeah, she com- loves me. The video's coming out later. Um, I- I mean, I, listen, I know how big it is, so it's all on the music blog page. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, then uh, Kourtney Kardashian shut down a postpartum body shamer because uh, Kim Kardashian had posted a picture of her, Chloe, and Kourtney on their recent beach vacation. And one commenter was like, um, you know Kourtney's not going to like this pic, Kim. She doesn't look as good as y'all. She's going to make you take it down. And oh, Kourtney God. responded, and she was like, I love this photo. Because she's, you know, she's like, this is my body that gave me three big babies and my little baby boy. Um yeah, because she, I don't know, isn't, like, super stick thin. I, she looks great. Anyway, uh, so that, bunch of stuff going on on the music blog page. That's what's trending on 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, everybody. This is five-time Hall of Famer, Big Bad Brad. Now you're fresh out of bed, head-to-head, one-day champion. I heard you guys needed more people in the tournament. I plan on being there at the end of the year. Join me on Free Beer Friday when I make it win number two, bitches. You want to take this guy on? He's a five-time Hall of Famer. 713-212-5945. Chile, quick lay. Quickly, we got a short song here.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning. Rod Ryan Show. Free Beer Friday. Happy 420. Happy Fanny Friday. Oh. Risk it for the biscuit. All right. I can't wait. It's not going to be our last day. We're going to play on. <laughs> I can't. I, I was just going to like hold it and wait. We're going to play on Monday. Are we going to play on Tuesday? I don't know. Um, but um, I've, I'm told that Mr. Adler likes the game. Okay, good. So I'm told, I haven't talked to him, but I've heard through people that he's heard a couple of games this week and he likes it. We're going to play on Monday. Nice. So I know that. So again, um, it's not going to stay on forever, but today will not be the last that day. Um, mostly cloudy. 20% chance of rain, 87. 50% chance of rain on Saturday. And then morning showers, 50%. But boy, it, it cools off quite a bit this weekend. And now, it's time for the Fresh Out of Bed Head-to-Head Challenge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yesterday on the air, I said, is Big Bad Brad the guy whose wife cuts him off? You know what I mean? While he's playing. He sent me an email. Yeah, that's me. Hi, Brad. Good morning. <laughs> you sound well rested. <laughs> sound like you weren't up all night messing around. Good for you. Nope. <laughs> all right. Um, five times in that Hall of Fame. Yes, sir. And then the times that you didn't get in. I mean, that's a lot of cutting off. Um, you're, going, <laughs> you're going for win number two today? Yep. <laughs> Jason. Good morning. What are you doing, Jason? What are you doing? What are you even oh, doing? Just trying to get, trying to get to work. Yeah? Is this your first time in the Fresh Out of Bed head-to-head game? Yes, sir. Well, well, well. Thanks for the fish. So, you're fresh. This guy's been in the hole five times. I would say uh, upset of the year if you pull this off today. Uh, th- that's an easy one for me. Upset of the year when you win, Jason. Okay? You like the sound of that? Absolutely. Let's go. Okay. Brad, you can hear Jason. Everybody's good? Yep, I'm good. Okay. What are they playing I, for? I have a Rod Ryan Show t-shirt. I'm sorry, Jason. Did I cut you off? No, you're good. You're good. I oh. heard him when he said he's ready to go. Oh, yeah. Did you hear the part about him saying he's going to tear you a new ass? <laughs> oh, my God. Did you hear that? Or was that, that may happen, too. <laughs> <laughs> he said it, not me. I'm rooting for you, Jason. Jeez. <laughs> you seem like a nice guy. Jason, you seem nice. Okay. I don't know why you would call today. I, I don't know. Well, yeah. Why are you listening to this show? <laughs> why would you... <laughs> I mean, all right, here we go. Uh, We're listening for Brad. We're listening for Jason. Jason, you got to say your name fast and say it loud, okay? Loud and proud. Yes, sir. Thank you. That was perfect. See how nice he is? You don't have to call me, sir. Here we go. First question. What do you call the picture you take when the camera is facing yourself? I know why you're looking at me. Go ahead, Alex. Dude, I think Jason got in uh, first. He did. Yeah. Okay. Jason got in. Okay. <laughs> and then you realize I was Jason. I just hear Brad. I know why you're it. looking at me because I, Jason got through. I, I snapped my head right up. Answer, Jason. Selfie. Yeah. <laughs> it was close. It was insanely close. But I'm back in Tessa on this one. That's why you uh, you snapped I, out of your chair. I woke up. I'm up. Here we go. Next question, Brad and Jason. Who the hell is this Jason guy? What name is deer meat given on a menu? Jason. Brad. I'm going to leave. Who is this guy? <laughs> Jason. Venison. Okay, who are you? Who are you? No, you're not a fresh fish. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying <laughs> yes, it. Sir. Yes, sir. I've never even called before. What do you... What? Brad. Brad? Brad. Yeah, I've been a one-pump chump before, so <laughs> might as well keep the train going. Good job, Jason. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Five. Yeah. I-, I said it was going to be the upset of the year. It's the upset of the year. Wow. Jason. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. It is. Um, Do you... <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Wow. I thought I was going to be talking to Brad right you, now. You got to figure out what I, you, Get yourself what, together. What do, I, what do I do with my hands? Get I don't know what to do. the bong. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to ask you if you want to play on Monday. I think I'll be available. Do you want that t-shirt? I, I don't, 
what do I do? I mean, is that the end of the Absolutely. bit? Absolutely. Yeah, he gets the shirt. You got to get a speech from him. I'm going to ask you one more time, and this is no time to lie to me. <laughs> Have you ever played the Fresh Out of Bed head-to-head challenge before today? No, sir. Never. If I catch you lying, <laughs> don't make me come back You're not there. Not going to. Okay, dude, that was awesome. Wow. wow. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan show. What's going on here? Everybody hears everybody. Yes or no? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, there you, go. there you go. Hi guys. Good morning. I, I know I'm still. Everyone's a little freaked out in a good way. Uh, what the hell just happened? Upset of the year. Upset of the year. That's what just happened. Um, Wow. Emails are pouring in. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to Free Beer Friday. We'll have another case of beer for you coming up in 25 minutes. Thank you, Specs. Um, I've got Dave Matthews Band tickets coming up for you. Of course, we're going to do the uh, fun facts and the fun fact flashback. But uh, let's hear from this guy for the first time ever. Good morning, everybody. This is former Fresh Fish Jason. 
Translation, Rod can't believe I have never, ever, ever played this game. I can't. You just heard me take out a five-time Hall of Famer. Two questions, two answers, baby. It is a Cinderella story. I am your fresh out of bed, head to head, one day champion. Join me on Monday when I make it win number two, bees. Some people are trying to claim that their game was the upset of the year. Big Lou says that was not me beating Adam the Comp was. I don't know. No, because Lou, you played. You've played before. So I, I, I disagree with that. Um, well, Benjamin. Oh, that's OG Ben. Uh, welcome to the club. My first game, I beat Hall of Fame Colin. Colin? On his day five. That's how he got in the game. Uh, and now I've got my own Rod Ryan Show nickname. P.S. Chili, answer the dang phone. OG Ben. That ben. was this year? Oh, Ben. No, that was years ago. Oh, that was years okay. ago. But, yeah, I'm not saying it's the biggest upset of all time. There's no question. And I'm, that's why I'm overruling Lou. That's the upset of the year. Easily. Yeah. It, it, yeah. And in a long time. In a long, long time. What a game. That's why you play the game. Let's go. Whew. We have a lot of uh, listeners that have uh, famous names, and uh, this guy comes up all the time because he he always sends in really good words for Read My Lips. Um, you know him as Chris Daughtry, uh. right? But he's our Chris Daughtry, okay? He's cooler. He's, co- he's cooler than the bald American Idol flunky. Um, I trust him when he sent this in. He said Pope John Paul II was made an honorary member of of the Harlem Globetrotters in 2000. Ah. I think the Saints owner just gave him a jersey, too. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, like that was recent. But that's really cool. So when did he become a Globetrotter? 2000. Okay. Um, yeah, John Paul, J- JP2, JP big two. ups. He had big ups. <laughs> he was brutal in the paint. <laughs> Canada, New Zealand, and Australia, they have all removed their one-cent pieces. I mean, they're, obviously, they're out there. They're in circulation, but they're not making anymore. And How do you feel about Canada? Is it well, <laughs> I'm okay with it. Thanks. Um, but what do we do here in the U.S.? A penny costs three cents to make Wild. right now. And it's still only worth a penny, but it costs more to make than it's worth. So it's going to happen eventually. You know, I mean... You know, coins are cool and all that, but do we need the penny? I don't know. Did we need the Sacagawea dollar? No, but we still made those. We did. I like pirate money. The Susan B is what threw everybody off because it was so close to a, a, a quarter when it came out. Yeah. Mm. Um, final uh, fun fact for you today. In the second presidential election, both parties picked George Washington. <laughs> They both nominated him. So uh, he won. He's a two-term guy. A lock. Um, and uh, he won the election with 100% of the vote. I did not know that. All right. Uh, let's talk about what you got to give away. Yeah, I've got a pair of tickets to see the Dave Matthews Band at Woodlands Pavilion, May 31st. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, the kid that played Charlie in the original, the one that we all kind of grew up with, uh, you know, if you grew up with Johnny Depp, then I feel bad for you. Uh, <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the old one, okay? He was never in a movie before that. He was never in a movie after that. Peter Ostrom became a veterinarian. He's now retired in New York somewhere. He gets royalty checks about every three months. How much are those checks? 713 713- Two one two five nine four five. There's my guy right there, and yeah, that's not kind of money you can retire on. I'll just—that's my only clue. Hi, Hal. <laughs> Brother Rod. Good morning. Hello, Hal. It's the—it's the Willy Wonka that you grew up with. Okay, that's the one we're talking about. Yes, da, da, Charlie. Da, da. Yes, run straight home, Charlie, and don't stop for nothing. <laughs> How'd we do on Wall Street yesterday? <laughs> 
<laughs> mixed down Wall Street. The Dow, it was up 22 points. Kickoff this morning at 37,775. NASDAQ down 81 to 15,601. Benchmark 10-year treasuries trading at a 4.6%. And oil stands at $81.97 a barrel. Two of the most active the big studs, United Health Travelers and Nike. The big duds, Microsoft, Intel, and Salesforce. The economic calendar this morning, it's all clear right now. Futures, come on, they are on the downside. Let's turn this baby around. That's it. I'm out here. This is Hal, a managing director with Raymond James, reporting for the Ride Ryan Show. From Raymond James on Sam, Felipe, and Augusta. And don't forget to always rock out with your stock out. All right, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about Love Street Blonde. Okay, you know how much I love Fridays, and, I, and I'm sure you're in the same boat, but I mean, every Friday for me, it's like a little mini last day of school, you know? I've been putting in my time. I've been grinding all week. I'm ready to reward myself, okay, with a couple of Love Streets this weekend. I feel like I've earned it. That's why when I went to the grocery store yesterday, I picked some up. So I'm ready to go. I'm stocked. Any of these neighbors around here you want a beer? I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I am ready to go to get into that Love Street state of mind, okay? You do the same. Have an awesome weekend, everybody. Carbox Love Street. Carboxbrewing.com. Love Street Blonde. Music to your beer.
An off-ramp is reopened on East Texas, the southbound off-ramp to the North Sam Parkway. They're stopping go traffic from Greens. There's also a 10-minute delay on 288 going northbound between the South Sam Houston Tollway and Airport. That's about a 10-minute jam there. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Welcome back, Rod Ryan Show. Oh, how about that jingle? Good morning. Good morning. Hello, who's this? This is James. Celebrating four twenty today, James. No, I'm not. No, I'm looking at me like no. What am I, a child? <laughs> <laughs> Are you calling about the fun fact flashback? Yeah, yeah. You gonna get it right? Yeah. Okay. The kid that played uh, Charlie in Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Never made a movie before. Never made a movie after that. Peter Ostrom. He's 66. He's retired. Became a veterinarian. He still gets royalty checks every three months. He's, he told us what those checks are for. How much? Ten bucks. You got it. <laughs> Ten bucks. Yeah. To be Charlie. On, Willy, on the original Willy Wonka. I wonder what uh, kind of cut Gene Wilder got. Uh, James, you just won. What are you giving him? Oh, dude, you're going to get the Dave Matthews Band tickets. Congratulations. Dude. Oh, awesome. That is awesome, bro. That's awesome. Thanks for starting your day with us. Have an awesome weekend, Thank James. You. Thank you, bro. Uh, Thank, you. Thank you, dude. It's Nirvana, 94.5 The Buzz.
Come on. 94.5 The Buzz. Rod Ryan show on this free beer Friday. We'll have another case coming up for you. Limp Biscuit tickets next hour. Risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, a lot of biscuit stuff on the show this week. Uh, risk it for the biscuit at 820. And I already said that we're definitely going to play. We're going to play one more on Monday. This show, we can never just stop when we say we're going to stop something. <laughs> I, I've, I've noticed that over the years. I, I don't know if it's a problem, but there really is not a lot of self-control. I can tell you that much. So we're going to play on Monday for sure. Uh, mostly cloudy today, 20% chance of rain, high of 87. We've got some rain coming in, though. 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms tomorrow, and then 50% chance of morning showers on Sunday. Tomorrow's high is 78. Sunday's high is 65. What the heck? Give me a blanket. What are Houston's headlines? Um, former President Trump's hush money criminal trial in New York City has found its 12 jurors. So now six alternates have to be selected. That process resumes later this morning. But that's what, what the news was yesterday. Um, they found the 12 jurors. And again, they have to have those backups. So um, that's the update there here in Houston. Tesla's layoffs include an undetermined number of Houston area employees. So Tesla, which is the nation's largest manufacturer of electric vehicles, let go of about 10 percent of its workforce this week. The company emailed the affected workers early on Monday that they were out of a job. So many of the thousands of cuts involve employees at Tesla's headquarters and factory in Austin, as well as Houston's area service centers. Local workers say the layoffs came without warning other than a recent slowdown in their workload. It's been a long week, uh, so someone might try to beat this guy's record tonight. A 69-year-old man in Australia named David Clarkson just broke a world record by hitting 120 different bars in a single day. The previous record was 99. He started at a hotel bar in Sydney and spent the next 24 hours walking around to 119 more bars around the city. You spent some time in Australia. I did. You're not surprised that an Australian holds this record, are you? Uh, You know what? I They party. I agree. They yes. party. They do. Uh, and I don't think Guinness recognizes this. I don't. They don't want you drinking and doing all those things. That's why when I talked about I wanted to do the world's largest shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're like, you know, like, we're not we're not promoting drinking, drinking or any kind of drinking. But it doesn't mean that this guy doesn't have a world record though. It's no, he insane. does. And according to Guinness, their rules said he had to order a drink at each place and consume. 125 milliliters of each drink. That's just over four ounces, so about a third of okay. beer All right. at each place. Uh, the rules didn't say that they had to be alcoholic drinks, so were, I mean, it could have been a water. It could have okay. been a Diet Coke, but he needed to get a drink and drink like a third of it. So the, the so it's not how much he drank, it's the it's the bars that he attended. Yes. That he visited. Okay. Yes. Um. So congrats to him and his new Guinness World Record. Okay, I have some streaming news. Um. So Netflix confirmed the fifth season for The Witcher. This is um, this is Liam Hemsworth replacing Henry Cavill. So Henry Cavill was the original Witcher, and people are obsessed with this character. But he had said he was done with it, so they had to get someone, a big name in there, to kind of, like, appease the fans of The Witcher. Mm -hmm. So seasons four and five are going to be filmed back-to-back, -back, and that'll complete the book adaptation. Now I want to talk about the docu-series um, about Nickelodeon. Quiet on the set, the dark side of kids' TV. Um, they have broke Max's streaming record with 1.25 billion viewing minutes. So that, quite on the set, surpassed The Last of Us um, for uh, Max. It was huge. This is all based on a, a Business Insider article that highlighted the dark and troubling aspects of the child acting industry. And then for Alex P., Fallout, which if you didn't know, this has been a big hit for Amazon Prime. Fallout is this sci-fi series that's based on a video game. It's got one of our favorite actors in it. but He's my favorite, but I can't think of Billy. Walton Goggins. Walton Goggins, who plays baby Billy and Righteous Gemstones. Yeah, oh, with the so, teeth. He's got, so, he's got, baby Billy Freeman. So, he's got too many, he's got like maybe 10 too many teeth. So Fallout <laughs> is renewed for a second season oh, and nice. people are really excited. Exactly. I haven't watched it. It's not that. even out a week. That's awesome. I, I know. But I hear see, you guys talking about it. I finished it. Alex, I think is done with it. You yeah. should really consider watching okay. it. But it's very gory. Do not watch it with London. Okay. 
But I like Walt. Is it Walton Goggins? Walton or? Goggins, and it's by the same people that made Westworld. Okay. I, I mean, I love that guy. I think he's so cool. That's what got me into it because I'm not a sci-fi video game person, but I was like, I like him. And I would not have thought you would have liked it, but if you liked it and you didn't even play the games or anything, like, oh, then it, that it, means it, that I think a lot of other people will too. It plays. You don't need to have the video game love. Happy 420 Eve. Billboard.com puts together a, a list of 25 stoner songs for all those that celebrate tomorrow's weed day, and they are ranked by potency. Um, this one, uh, two joints. Oh, where is this? Oh, it's... It's five. It's number five. So it did make the top five. Before these, you have uh, Mary Jane by Rick James, Stay High, Three Six Mafia, Legalize It by Peter Tosh. Where's uh, Where's Black Sabbath Sweet Leaf? Black Sabbath Sweet it's Leaf high. is number seven. Yeah, that's like an all time stoner song. Number seven on this list. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see uh, Amy Whitehouse, Addicted, number sixteen. So, I know you guys like it. Some of the weed stuff, I'm like, I'm not here for it. That Afro Man song, I always hated. Oh, that Afro Man song. Oh, because I didn't even I got put it on. High because I got high. I, I, I thought that was like a cult Morning, song. Morning, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I never was into it. Um, I think that's like in the 25, okay. I believe. So Maybe you weren't I mean, stoned it, enough to like it. Ride. I wasn't. No. I, like, or a cop. <laughs> what are you, a narc? Huh? Those are Houston's headlines. All right. There's a lot of 420 business on links and guests today. And then obviously that's my poll question. Wondering if you're in the weed game. So uh, he can tell on you. He's saying this right to HPD. Just do afterwards. your sports, okay? <laughs> no, we don't want to pay you for your little comments. Right to HPD. The Astros are back in action tonight. They're going to open up a weekend series with the Nationals in D.C. Justin Verlander is going to make his first start of the year. He'll be on the mound for the Strohs, going up against Washington's Mackenzie Gore. First pitch is at 5:45. You can listen to the game on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. In basketball, the NBA play-in games continue tonight. We got at 6 o'clock, the Heat taking on the Bulls for the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Then at 8.30, the Pelicans play the Kings for the final playoff spot in the West. You can watch both of those games on ESPN and TNT. The NBA playoffs officially start tomorrow, and so do the Stanley Cup playoffs as well. In soccer, Houston Dynamo FC is going to be back on the field tomorrow night. They'll host Austin FC at Shell Energy Stadium. That'll kick off at 7.30, and you can watch it on Apple TV. On the sports blog page today, we got the Texans' new all alternate helmet that they leaked yesterday. It's kind of got like a light blue script H on it instead of the bull. Mixed reviews for sure. I think the bull looks way cooler than that. I don't know why you would I don't know why you would mess up a good thing. Does the H look like Hold On Hollywood? The H looks like <laughs> the band our oh, local friends. Does, but it also looks like like a hat you would buy at a gas station that's just like a generic H. It looks like what we used to draw on our binders. Like it looks like the Stussy S but an H. Yeah. Hold on, Hollywood should grab that H Hold immediately. On, should. Uh, I mean, the bull horns were pretty cool anyways. Like, the bull on the so. side of the helmet was cool. Just go with the red helmets. It's a great logo. I, I agree. It is a great logo. The original. The original is. This H is kind of... Yeah. Like, throw it in as, like, an alternate, but, like, let's not wear it all the time, and I think it'll be, like, one or two games. CJ Stroud looks good and everything, though. Go check it out if you haven't seen it at Sports Blog page today. All right. An accident's blocking two right lanes on 610 East Loop southbound at Sydney Sherman Bridge. It is, like, blocking two right lanes and then delaying you about five minutes, okay? An off-ramp just reopened on East Tex, the southbound off-ramp to the North Sam Houston Parkway. There's still some stop-and-go traffic from Greens, but it is open. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz.
Come on. Come on. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Bro- Brother Rod, Santiago, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Who is Santiago? Oh, this is, oh, ever been to Santiago, Chile? Uh, <laughs> Twice <laughs> last year. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Something about Mary, he knows. Oh, yeah, sending y'all some good vibes, man. Sending y'all some good vibes. The one in November. We're going to run it back in, in April now, man. What's going on? Was it, was it, when you want, was it beer that you want or was it concert tickets or of something course. else? No, no, no. It was, it was beer. Of course it was, it was beer. Santiago is just... I'm just, I'm here, just for here for the free beer. <laughs> of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where are you from again, Santiago? I'm from Denver Harbor, Texas, man. All right, my man. Born and bred. Yeah, our man Pat's yes, over sir. there yesterday. And when I said it was a 10% chance of rain, Pat sent me an email. 100% of that 10% is coming down in Denver Harbor right now, Rod. I'm like, okay, well, that's what that means. 10% of you are going to get rain. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, bro, your vibes are amazing this morning. I want to thank you for bringing that to all of us. I am so happy that yes, you sir. got this beer. I'm happy to give it to you again. You've earned it. You have the best weekend, man. I got one more thing for you, Rod. Hang on. Oh, he's got a trucker yeah. horn for Wee- us. Doggy, that's it. I got something for you. <laughs> that was for you, Santiago. Love you guys, man. Love you guys. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Roll safe. What did the guy say who submitted? I think he said, keep the rubber side down. Yes. We had a truck driver submit one of the Instagrams this week, and that's their. Right. They kind of, they told me to pull back on the 10 4 good buddy. I don't know, for whatever reason. So now it's keep the rubber side down, all right? All right, well, happy 420, everyone. If that's what your thing is, I'm I'm asking. What's well, tomorrow? 420 <laughs> Eve. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Happy 4. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, but people are already excited about it, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, asking if you're in the weed game this morning. I'm getting laughed at by the potheads on the show that I worded it weird. I don't know how else, I didn't know how else to say it. I, because if you, I, I was going to ask, do you smoke weed? And I was at least cool enough to call it weed. Are you for school? Are you for weed? Are you for weed? <laughs> no, no, I'm not for weed. Um, the movie references just never end on this show. Happy 420. Are you in the weed game? That's including smoking, edibles, vaping. I knew I was going to get laughed at if I put bonging or piping. I don't know. What do you call it? I don't know what to do. So uh, 55% of our audience is a no. 18% is an occasionally. And that number is going up. Uh, as the day gets longer, the number is going up. Yeah. I'm not putting those two things together, even though I just did. 26% of our audience, yes, they're in the weed game. They're in the weed game. In, playing. Off the bench, in the game. Uh, my neighbor just got back from New York City. Okay. New York is nuts. And I guess probably Denver or, I'm sorry, Colorado or whatever. It's kind of been that way for a long time. Yeah. But New York is just all in on the weed. I didn't realize that. And I said that when I took my kid the last time we went down to Niagara Falls. Just walking around Niagara Falls, one of the natural wonders of the world. And I'm walking with my kid. I'm looking at this beautiful thing. And it's just weed everywhere. You walk into cloud. You walk into patches of it. (laughs) Not you don't see the cloud. You just walk into that stink. Yeah, where and, you're like someone's smoking. And Is there a skunk in here. And weed doesn't smell like weed used to smell. This stuff is like super cross pollinated. Whatever <laughs> it is, I mean, it's like insanity weed. Um, it's a weird thing to. I don't care. I personally don't care. I don't do it. I don't care about it. It's a weird thing. It wasn't to the point where London said, what's that? No, she did. She did. She said, what is that? (laughs) I'm like, worry about it. Um, So so my neighbor just got back from- Ask your friends. My neighbor just got back from New York City. He's staying in Manhattan, going to a bunch of bars. Everywhere you walk in New York, all you can do is smell weed. You smell it everywhere. Interesting. 
I didn't realize New York was so... Weed fr- forward? Yeah, so 420. Very weird weed forward. And I think that's in a lot of places now. Um, I would vote for it. I'm cool with it. I just won't, don't want to do it. Yeah. I just don't want to do it. Yeah, I think I, th- I think uh, the I thought pros, I was weed curious, the, and now I'm not curious. Well, well, I guess like ever since the legalization of it in other states, we always say Texas is going to be the last one. But you see uh, what some of this money can do. You're like, wow, they'll they'll tax that much, and you know we'll have that much available. You think, okay, better roads, maybe better. Uh, Texas maybe won't be dead last, but. Harris you, County could really use that money right You got now. your Louisianas yeah. and the Mississippis of the world, and yeah. th- 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 some of these places might be after us, but we'll be close to last. Yeah. I do feel that. Uh, unless you know something different. I don't know. Share your weedness with me. Um, on Royal the flip. weedness. <laughs> you can erect. There's a ton of uh, 420 food breaks today. Food deals uh, tomorrow. I keep thinking today's 420. Uh, today's 419. Um but there's a lot of food deals and all of that stuff. There's a lot of weed business on links and guests. I get it. If you're not into it, you're probably not going to click those links. The, the Fanny Friday is awesome. The music blog's great. The criminal blog page, oh, that's weed too. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, it's okay. It's, yeah, it's very weed forward today. Yo! What's up? It's your brother Rod talking about Red Mountain Weight Loss. They've got semaglutide in stock. Rod, what the hell is semaglutide? Semaglutide is FDA approved for weight loss. Uh, Anyone that's uh, losing and having great results, losing weight, not anyone, but most people, certainly all these celebrities and anybody that you see on the internet right now, you can lose up to 15 pounds this month. Semaglutide, it's in stock at Red Mountain Weight Loss. You're going to get great support. They've got licensed Medical teams, okay, licensed. They're helping you plan meals. They're helping to help you speed up your progress. They've got solutions to prevent some of the people have asked me about side effects of muscle loss. And it's all less than half the price of Ozempic right now. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full strength semaglutide, less than half the price of Ozempic. The trusted leader in medical weight loss injections or tablets now. Your choice. Dial pound 250 from your phone. Use keyword red mountain weight loss. That's pound 250, keyword red mountain weight loss.
East Loop, 610 East Loop, southbound at Sydney Sherman Bridge. The accident has cleared, but there's still a five-minute delay. Some stuff we go to deal with from market, but not a lot. Um, there's a small delay on I-10 East Freeway westbound at Waco because of an accident. This accident's blocking two left lanes, but traffic is getting by, and there is some stop and go from Lathrop. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Big writer. He's a big writer in the wrestling yeah. world. Yeah. I've, we, I've learned a lot this week. I've learned a lot this week. Uh, 94.5 The Buzz. Welcome back. Rod Ryan Show. Free Beer Friday. Cloudy skies today. 20% chance of rain. 87. So still kind of keeping with that upper 80s theme this week. Tomorrow, 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms. 78 will be the high. 50% chance of morning showers. So it looks like the day's not a loss. That's good news. Uh but the high on Sunday is 65. Um, oh, I got a, I got a couple of music notes uh, that I want to make today on the show. Okay. But I want to hear what's trending first. Okay, I'll do this real quick. Um, so you want a Mr. Injector 1 update? <laughs> yeah, this local guy. There's a bunch of people that listen to this show that know this guy. For all I know, he's a listener. Um, but he got pinched for illegally... Performing medical people. acts. Yeah, he doesn't have a medical license. Known as Mr. Injector One, he faced a judge for the first time yesterday morning. And he, I think he made bond. But this is a 42-year-old dude. He operates out of um, a clinic. You know, he says he has a medical license. He doesn't. He tells people, oh, yeah, I can do this. I can do that. So more people are coming forward and saying, that guy injected me with uh, a substance. Afterwards, I was sick. There's going to be a he ton of people. my appearance. There's going to be a ton of people coming forward now. Serious complications. And, and I believe the guy, I, I don't have the email on me. He's like, Rod, I know that guy. I had no idea that he was doing this illegally. Of course, we all knew what he did for a living. But we didn't know that he didn't have a license. He was allegedly hurting people with non-FDA approved butt and Botox-like injections. People are coming forward with a slew of compli- of serious complications. It's just not Come freaking on. cool what he was doing. So that's your update. He's bonded out, and we're just going to keep monitoring that because I know more people are going to come forward. Remember that uh, 911 outage? Uh, yesterday where there were like different states that yeah. couldn't call 911 apparently it was caused by an installation of a light pole yep um there was no official explanation but a third party company was installing a light pole in Nebra- in uh Nebraska and unrelated to 911 and yeah for whatever reason that affected the the computer lines because remember a lot of this is digital now it's not like a hardwire yep. phone line uh, which we love on this show and then also the fanny friday that's our number one blog page right yep. now you guys are checking that out that's what's trending on 94.5 the buzz all right the music notes i wanted to make two one in the nine o'clock hour during open phones the second song of the hour we're gonna play des rocks oh, oh. des rocks he called in to open phones and then we know he's got an army of uh you know like really really dedicated fans and followers here in houston he's playing sunday night at scout bar right we're gonna play his song okay let's um, do it we're gonna play his song it's exciting and uh it is exciting it's really good too he rocks his name's des rocks it's like he has to and it rocks know? okay uh the other thing was i want to start out by saying don't ever ask me to play a song for your birthday Okay, it's your birthday. And, you know, the mentions on the radio and all of that stuff. But yesterday, we were, we played Everlast, What It's Like. Uh-huh. And then I said, does everybody know that Everlast is the lead singer of House of Pain? And I got tons of, I never put those two groups together. Emails. It's Everlast. Yeah. That's him. He's the guy that's, he's the guy in the, in the, Kel- in the Celtics jersey. Wow. He's singing. That's him. Yeah, I didn't know that. Alicia. It's my favorite song and my birthday's tomorrow. Would you play it? 
I just said don't ever, ever ask me to play a song say that. for your birthday. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I want to play this every Friday. Hey, we, let's give away some Limp Biscuit tickets right now, too. I'll, okay. take, I'll take caller number 10, 713-212-5945. Do you see what the problems this is bringing to me now? Happy birthday. No. No, I just wanted to hear it. It's 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. It's got nothing to do with Alicia's birthday. Today. <laughs> you, now you feel like it was your birthday. I saw you over there. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> Damn, do I love that song. That's what is it? It's Everlast. It's DJ Lethal and Alex. Come on. And Alex? No. Not me. <laughs> Who's the third guy? Who's Come the third on. guy? I'm not too, gonna give it to. You. I don't too know. old. Too I old. Too I don't old. know the names. Don't know the names of House of Pain. Danny Boy. Danny boy. Danny boy. Oh, Danny boy. Wow. Uh, House of Pain. Everlast, though. And ever, Yeah, that's Everlast. Yeah. Um, man, that should be on every Friday. That should be on every day. Well, so here's the thing. As long as your birthday falls on a Friday and it's in the morning on this show, you can probably, <laughs> and you want, and your birthday song is Jump Around, you can probably get a birthday Maybe. song. Maybe. Oh, the, the can of worms that I opened with doing <laughs> that today. Oh, boy. But the other note was fun. Uh, we're going to play Des Rocks. Yeah. During open phones today. And I, I mean, I can only imagine, I know all those Des Rocks animals are going to be calling in anyways to talk about his show because they're so loyal and dedicated. But it was really cool to pick up the first phone call, I think, for, for open phones. And it was Des himself calling in saying, hey, man, thank you for talking about me. And and I said, dude, it's it's not me. It's your the people that love you uh, have been using the opportunity of open phones to promote you. And he said, yeah, they've been blowing me up. So he's from he's a New York guy. 
So uh, he's a, he's on the scene over there. He is. Yeah. Scenester. He's good. He is. He is really good. He's turning me into a fan quickly. Uh, let's go over to the phones here. Good morning. So help me God, if you're calling for a request. So help me. I will hang up this phone. Good morning. Hello? Somebody on the phone? Hey, good, good morning. <laughs> there you are. Hi. What's your name? What is hey, your name? this is Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Are you calling to request a song? <laughs> no. I was calling for Limp Bizkit just kids. You're calling so. 10! Yeah! You got him. Shit! You got him. Oh, Tessa, man. Tell him about this all-star yeah, lineup. Yeah, let me tell you. So it's not just Limp Bizkit, which I can tell you're very excited about, but you need to really save some energy because Riff Raff... Also on this bill. Katie's Finest. Katie's Finest. After Chile. Corey Feldman, Nate No Face, Bones. You're going to have a little good time over there, aren't you? This is going to be an awesome concert. It probably is. from, you know, back in high school. <laughs> it is going to be an awesome concert. All right, Caleb, thanks for being a part of the show today. Have a great weekend. Oh, thank you all so much. Thanks, bro. Hang on for me. This is my coffee music. Anytime we talk about co- coffee, coffee on the show, it's sque- coffee. the old band Squeeze, tempted by the fruit of another squeezed. This is their other song, Black Coffee in Bed. There are some Tim Hortons around here now. Timmy Ho. ho. Tim- Timmy Ho, right? The uh, chosen coffee place of Justin Bieber, <laughs> who's Canadian, I know. So, Your brethren. We'll see what happens with this. <laughs> Have you seen anything about Tim Hortons in the news? I really haven't. Okay. It, it but is, tell me, I'm okay. interested. So this, the dude's in Canada. For those of you that don't know, Tim Hortons is like the Starbucks of Canada. Yes. Tim Horton is an actual guy. He was a hockey player. Right. Spent a little time on the Sabres. Was never a Wayne Gretzky guy, but just invested his money. Yeah. And just became Tim Horton. Yeah. You know? I mean, so. Businessman. Yeah. He was a good hockey player, but he wasn't great. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. More of a business guy. So this guy in Canada goes to Tim Hortons, and he got an email from Timmy Ho on Wednesday of this week. Wait. Said, congratulations, you won a $40,000 fishing boat. Awesome! Sweet. Did I sign up for something? Right. Cool. Um, he won the grand prize in a, concept, in a contest that they have been running, and it's called Roll Up to Win. So this guy's super excited about it. About an hour later, a buddy called him and said, guess what? His friend called him on the phone, uh-huh. said, dude, I just got an email from Tim Horton. I won a boat. I won the grand prize. He said, wait a minute. I have an email here stating that I'm the grand prize winner. There you go. Uh-oh. Did those two guys get the same email? Uh-oh. Or did a ton of people get that email? <sighs> a ton of people probably got this email. Yeah. It was a huge mistake. ruh Tim Hortons apparently told everyone they won the boat. Thousands of people. I have this on links and guests. You can see the alert that they got. Can you imagine how excited you are? You're winning a $40,000 boat. And anyone that entered the contest, I think, was told that they won. Okay, so so what's going to happen? I mean, are they going to sue him? What's going on? Follow-up email goes out from Timmy Timmy Horton. Disregard the boat thing. But, of course... I mean, Canadians, they're pretty docile for the most part. Yeah, they're not, like, up in arms. Like, they're not going to... But... Of Riot, course, like would. of course, all you got to do is say, listen, the emotions that I've gone through now with this, what, what are you going to do for me? Right. So there's the people are jumping on that train. Pain so, and suffering. There's some suits. OK, there's a Facebook group now. It's called Tim Hortons. You want a boat group and 2000 people have already joined that as of last night. They're all demanding the boat. Timmy Horton cannot give away a 40,000 boat to all these people. No, they cannot. They should. I, so the fine print says Tim Hortons has the right to cancel, amend, or suspend the contest if there's any sort of error made. Well, guess what? They made an error, and it just says here they have the right to cancel, amend, and suspend. So they're off the hook on the boats. The, the, the PR is not going to be good on this, but I don't know how they're going to get out of this. This reminds me well, I mean, of Pepsi, not- Where's My Jet? Remember that documentary? That was so good. That Remember they had said on a commercial, and they were just kidding, if you get a million points, we'll give you a jet. And they didn't put, like, terms and conditions. They didn't put an asterisk. They didn't say that's a, just a joke. It's just for a commercial. And a kid went and did the math and, like, somehow collected all the points. And then he's like, okay, where's my jet? And they're like, oh, you didn't think we were serious. And he's like, no, we did think you were serious. And you owe me a jet. <laughs> I'm just, uh, this is me talking to t- Tim Horton right now. Tim, obviously you're covered with the legal words. You're fine. 
You're fine. He doesn't have to send a $40,000 boat to everybody. He's got to do something to say I'm sorry. Sorry. Is a $10 gift card to everybody? It's thousands of people. So it's going to cost him. This is a this is a, a quarter of a million dollar mistake. Mm. Okay, but he can't send everybody. Is a $10 gift card, are you letting him off the hook? I mean, what do you want the guy hanging at the stake? I want a boat. I know Alex wants the damn boat. Like, double down. You owe me two boats. Want, two if boats I don't get a now. boat by yeah. midnight, make it two in the morning. It might be three boats if, if I don't get my two. So. Why would I ask going. you guys to be reasonable? <laughs> why would I no, even That's afford. a great question. You know what? Why don't you think about that during this song? You, you think about what you've done. You think about some stuff. <laughs> All right. This is, uh, that's on the food blog page today. This is Stained and Lowest in Me. Of course, it's 94.5, the buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Wakey, wakey, hands off those snakies. Rod Ryan's show on this free beer Friday. Got a case of beer coming your way straight up at eight o'clock today. Not that. Sorry, that was me, Alex. I need this. Yeah, what's our what's our guy talking about? That's a, I mean, just, do I have to introduce him? Uh, Jim Adler, the great Mister Jim Adler. You know him as the Texas Hammer. You love him as the Texas Hammer. I do. Uh, he gave us a bunch of money. And uh, I heard that he's liking the game. That's always a good thing. You don't want to ask somebody for money and then be put in a bad light. And I'm told that he thinks it's funny. And we knew he liked the name. He laughed when I told him what it was for, what it was all about. Uh, he's the one that's sponsoring Risk It for the Biscuit. We're going to play today. And, like most things, once we get started on something, we don't like to stop. We are going to play on Monday. I can tell you that. That that was the one thing that came out of our meeting yesterday. Um, Wizard likes something that we're doing, too. Wow. Radio Wizard said he likes it. I. He's going to say, Rod, I like plenty of stuff that you do. I don't know that I 
live my life thinking that's true. <laughs> I don't know that that's 100% true, but he does like risk it for the biscuit. So we're going to play at 8.20 this morning, uh, a chance to win some cold, hard cash. The only clue I gave is I said one of them goes to $1,000. Well, that opportunity, that train has passed. So where it stops today, nobody knows. I had a bunch of guys, they thought they figured it out, and I put a stop to that yesterday. Good. They were thinking, oh, well, it's got to be 900 today. And I'm like, I'm not saying that it's not. But I don't even know. I sent these to Alex last week. He put them in there. I didn't know when the thousand one was coming up. Um, I haven't even looked to see which one it is today. I don't care. I, I want you to win some money. I know that. And everybody has walked away with some money, even that guy on Monday. <laughs> he won 200 bucks. That's all right. It's $200 he didn't start the day off with. Uh, can't wait to play today. So not the last day, but uh, the last day this week that we're going to play Risk It for the Biscuit. I hope you stick around at 820. All right, let's talk about your finances. You know, you need a checking account. Why not make it a high-yield checking account from Primeway Federal Credit Union? Their best checking account gives you up to 2% APY. And then if you use your debit card and just swipe a couple times, your monthly checking fee is waived. If you use your debit card a lot, you will not have a monthly fee. Those best checking account comes comes with so many great features cell phone protection you get access to monitor your personal information so identity and dark web monitoring you can enjoy 24 7 roadside assistance um whether it's a flat tire a lockout situation they'll get you covered there telehealth shopping dining rewards i mean i could go on and on or you could just open your best checking account at primewayfcu.com
Okay, let's go to the south side because there is an accident blocking three right lanes. So if you're on 610 South Loop and trying to go eastbound, right at Cullen, you're going to notice some traffic. This accident has stopped traffic from Kirby. Belfort is going to be your alternate route. Otherwise, you got to sit in that for about 40 minutes right now. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. All right, 94.5 The Buzz, Rod Ryan Show on a free beer Friday. Holly is one of the, I, what are, uh, do the, does Des Rocks, does his army, his his allegiance of fans, do they have like a, a group name? But she's, she's the one that is obsessed with Des Rocks. And Des is playing at Scout Bar on Sunday. He, he's a rocker. The and, Des Desires? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> The uh, the Des Rockets. I mean, these, yeah. these people. The Des heads. They're they're obsessed with him. And the they, Grateful Des. There you go. And they, and they come <laughs> and they come to us on Open Phones Friday, and they're just like always trying to promote Des Rocks, even months out of his show. But Des called in himself, which he, was cool. He called in. He's not a local guy. He he's a guy that's trying to make it, and he's certainly popular to a small segment of people that are obsessed with him and they all want him to become huge. Right. And uh, so hopefully we're going to help him become huge and we're going to play his, one of his songs. He does rock. Is I mean, he hot? He's, um, why are these women obsessed with him? 
Yeah, I guess he's got a look to okay. him. It's a weird question for me. But he's he you looks know. he's a he, rockabilly pompadour. Okay. He looks like a rock he's a rock star. You okay. like your rock stars to look like rock stars. You've said that many a time. He looks like a rock star. He could be like in the Stray Cats, if, you, if that makes any sense to you. But he, uh, you can tell he's really good to his fans. And he was so appreciative. They were blowing him up. Thank you so much for mentioning me in Houston that he wanted to thank us and his fans. And, uh, and I gave him the time last week. So let's, let's, let's play a song. Uh, so about 920, uh, we're going to play that. Yeah, and he didn't have that like like oh, I am a rock star. No, talk. he was so down to earth and cool, and it's just like yeah, I happen to he's, be a rock star. <laughs> he's in. A, he's not playing the Toyota Center this weekend, you know, and that's not a slam on him. He's playing Sunday night at Scout Bar. Yeah, it's a guy that's out there grinding. Yeah, but he's doing it, and he's he, he's there for for his fans. Uh. He's so appreciative, and uh, and I appreciate that. You know, it's just. Th- those are the people that are going to, they're going to lift you up, Yeah, you know? So I was excited uh, that Wizard was down for uh, some playing some Des Rocks in the, in the nine o'clock hour. Cause that's kind of where the storyline lives. So yeah. I'm, I'm explaining it before eight and nobody knows who the hell I'm talking about. Right. Um, we'll just wait. He's a cool guy. You're going to want to hear this song. It's good. 20% chance of rain, mostly cloudy, high of 87. Test it with Houston's headlines. Yeah, let's talk about some serious stuff for a bit. A retaliatory strike against Iran has been launched by Israel. U.S. officials confirm missiles have struck a number of locations inside Iran with no word yet on whether there were any casualties. Several explosions were reported near an air base in, the Iranian, in an Iranian city, Isfahan. Um, that's home to a number of sites linked to Iran's nuclear program. Here in Houston, the police department has reviewed all of the more than 4,000 adult sexual assault cases that were suspended because of lack of personnel. Chief Troy Finner announced the completion of the review yesterday. He says more than 3,400 cases were cleared, suspended, and activated for mainly lack of additional leads. The rest are still under investigation. Finner says the HPD is still reviewing 264,000 other incident reports that had been suspended. Tomorrow is 420, and not only that, it's a palindrome, meaning 42024, the same in reverse to make it work. April needs to be just 4, not 04, but the year can be formatted um, either 2024 or just 24. And why am I talking these numbers to stoners? I don't know. Um, it's just that that's not going to happen for another 1,000 years. So there, that's for the mathematicians. Everything else is for the people that partake i'm learning that oh. do you partake yeah um, did you learn that from me i learned that on the x about five minutes ago in our comment section you know what i learned on this show our replies tessa explained to me the difference between a joint and a blunt <laughs> oh yeah remember <laughs> i remember that day thank you i appreciate going to the experts no um, problem so 20 for 20s tomorrow my question is are you in the weed game that's, that's our poll question today, because the only reason why I'm doing that is because our poll question yesterday was, should we do polls? Right. Should we do poll questions? 78% of our audience said yes, so I'm going to continue to do them. 58% of our audience is not in the weed game. That's including smoking, edibles, and vaping, and piping, and bonging, and everything else. <laughs> 16% occasionally, 25, one out of four here in the Rod Ryan Show audience doesn't want us to do poll questions. And <laughs> and they do, and they are in the weed game. One out okay. of four of our listeners. Did you know. think you think that number is low or high? I think it's right about where you you'd expect. Yeah. Okay. I actually I think it's a little high. Get it? Oh, my sorry. God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She I'm can't sorry. help herself. Kids. I'm sorry. Okay. Look, oh, I have where you can find all the best food deals on 420. It's on our blog page. I'm talking Arby's, Buffalo Wild Wings, Carl's Jr. I mean, think about how mainstream it is if these big. Uh, companies are partaking, right? Duncan, uh, they're celebrating. Um, oh, oh, they're, oh, they're national no. companies, and it's legal in many of the states where they're right. at. So, uh, Duncan, though, they're not celebrating 420, but 420 is also National Cold Brew Day. So, I think just a reminder of that. Um, let's see, Jack in the Box, Jimmy John's. Just go check out the blog page because there's a lot of food deals that you might want to get in on. Netflix is announcing that it would stop reporting. It will stop reporting its quarterly subscriber numbers. They say uh, in a letter to shareholders this week that membership is just one component of the company's growth. 
they're not they don't want to share with us anymore. You know, they added 9.3 million subscribers when they really cracked down on the password sharing. But they say, look, they're focused on revenue, operating margin, and those are indicators of performance. So this change is going to take effect next year. And um, they said they will continue to announce subscriber milestones. I mean, I wouldn't expect Netflix to say anything else, but they said that the crackdown on the passwords has been awesome for them. Uh, yeah. Okay. There's new that, subscribers. And it makes me upset that they went and said that because now all the other streaming services yes. are listening. A hundred percent. That's going to happen now. So rude. So rude. They pioneered it. You know, okay, we're not going to allow this sharing anymore. Hey, you know that cool thing you liked about us a lot that was really convenient for Is everyone? Is that the one thing you we're liked? We're cracking you down. Get it illegally? Free. I like free stuff. Last week's total solar eclipse pushed Soundgarden's 1994 hit Black Hole Sun to number one on Billboard's Hot Hard Rock Songs chart. Last week alone, it earned 4.2 million official streams. That's a 34% increase. 2.5 million streams, uh, well, radio airplay audience. That was up 19%. And it also had 1,000 downloads in the U.S. This is the first time Soundgarden had topped this chart, which was created in 2020. So good for Soundgarden. Bonnie Tyler's total eclipse of the Heart also got a boost. Uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival's Bad Moon Rising and Pink Floyd's Eclipse, they all saw boosts oh, because of the eclipse. I would have loved to have played Bad Moon Rising last week. That's well, what, the Soundgarden stats are the, are the uh, highest yeah. performing, so we got it right there. Uh, those are Houston's headlines. The other music news, Taylor Swift new album out. Huge news, guys. Yep. That is everywhere. She, well, she dropped a double album, yes. so it wasn't just a one-sided thing. It's like a double album, and people are stoked. Pearl Jam also with a new album people, out today. People stoked about that as well. That's big. All right, what you got over there? The Astros are back in action tonight. They're going to open up a weekend series with the Nationals in D.C. Justin Verlander is going to be on the mound for the Strohs in his first start of the year. He'll be going up against Washington's Mackenzie Gore. First pitch is at 545. You can listen to the game on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. In the NBA, play-in games continue tonight. At 6 o'clock, the Heat play the Bulls for the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Then at 8.30, the Pelicans take on the Kings for the final playoff spot in the Western Conference. You can watch both of those games on ESPN and TNT. The NBA playoffs officially start tomorrow. So do the Stanley Cup playoffs. In soccer, Woo! Houston Dino FC is going to be back on the field tomorrow night. They'll host Austin FC at Shell Energy Stadium. That'll kick off at 7.30, and you can watch it on Apple TV. That is what's going on in sports. Uh, Holly says that they are Des Rock's filthy animals. <laughs> <laughs> she would know. She would know. She's like number one fan here in Houston. Yes. That's what we're doing next hour. Um, right around 820, we'll get rolling with uh, Risking It for the Biscuit today. And uh, we are going into extra innings. We're going to play on Monday again, too. So, uh, also, beer. Anybody interested? Come on. Here we go. It's uh, your brother Rod, April showers. We're going to see some of that this weekend. It doesn't mean I want you to just bunker down. I want you to go see Joe Meyer's Toyota. Today's a great day. I don't think tomorrow's a complete wash. You can get out there. The April shower of savings. It's appropriate, man. Factory Fresh 2024s are arriving every single day. Springtime, the right time to get a deal of a lifetime. Low money down, favorable financing options for well-qualified buyers. Camrys, Rockerola, Corollas, Tundras, Tacomas, Highlanders, Sienna Vans, RAV4s, 4Runners. You want gas? You want hybrid? They've got them. Of course they're paying you top dollar today for your vehicle at the all-new Joe Myers Toyota Buying Center. Shop them 24-7, JoeMyersToyota.com or call 281-890-8700. Five or more available. All finance offers at Approved credit. See Joe Myers Toyota for details. It expires 4 30 24. Okay, that accident still blocking three right lanes on the south loop eastbound at Cullen is at a big delay. There's traffic from Kirby, so you got to take Alt-90 or Belfort. Those are going to be your alternate routes there. There's also pockets of stop and go in the city. Be mindful. Uh, downtown between Lorraine and 288, about a 20-minute delay. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz.
<laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it is Friday. It's true. What are you doing? Playing a song? You just ruined that Guns N' Roses song. No, I made it better. <laughs> you put Rebecca Black in there? What's wrong with you? It's fine. Let me make sure I'm understanding this correctly. <laughs> you thought that a good follow-up to Guns N' Roses' Welcome to the Jungle was Rebecca Black's Gotta Get Down on Friday? We hadn't played that one in a while. You thought that was a good... I did. I did think that. Mm. Yes. Nine years on the show. Try and you thought that was a good bit. idea. Try and change it up a little bit. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. So good. Golly. Thank you, Tessa. Look at Somebody appreciates it. You've upset it. the I listeners. Do appreciate she doesn't it. even want to say hi to me now. Hey. She doesn't want to talk to us. She's so upset over that Rebecca Black track. <laughs> I'm sorry. Will it help if I say I'm sorry? Good morning. Who's on the phone? Don't apologize. I am apologizing. Don't. Is anybody on she the phone? She really didn't like it. <laughs> she really doesn't want to talk Hello? to us. Hi. Hi, this is Alicia. Hi. Are you, are you wait a minute. Oh my god, I won? You're not the Alicia that's having a birthday today. No. Okay, because that's that was a whole nother thing. Um, you you did win the beer today. You're color number ten. Woo! Well, yeah, wow, my that. first time. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Thank you so much. You don't know how many times I've tried and tried to win. I want you to tell me how many times you've tried. Then oh. I'll know. Forty-one yesterday, and then the next uh, day before was like one hundred and seventy-seven. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait. These are calls that you're making into the show that you're trying to get through? Yes. These are the number of calls. Wow. All right. But listen, what what's the takeaway here? Is it it's Alicia? Yes. Y you didn't give up, though. You kept going. No, I didn't. I, I keep calling every day. Oh, Giving my God. Giving up for cowards. So great. <laughs> yeah, those people that are like, oh, I'm never going to get through. Chili's not going to pick up. He's gonna pick up. He's gonna. I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna get. We're gonna. We're gonna connect. Um, congratulations. Enjoy your beers and and have the best weekend. I'm so glad you won today. Thank you. That's another, have a good weekend too. Uh, thank you so much. Are you in the car right now? Yes, I'm taking my husband to work. Yeah, you sound like you're driving. How long is it taking you? How long is it taking you from home to when he gets to work? What's the drive look like? How how long? About 30 minutes. About 30 minutes. You know what you are? Yeah. I mean, not to yeah. me. To me, you're very above average. But your drive, your commute in Houston, that's average. 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes is the yeah. average. Thank you, Alicia. We're only the ninth worst city to drive in. Ah. As far as commuter time, I'm not saying, you know, who's nice on the roads or there's a lot of factors involved here for sure. But uh, for those of you that are not working from home and you do have a morning commute, I love every single one of you. I really do. Um, U.S. Department of Energy puts this out and the stats for the commute times. So the average one way commute in America is 27 minutes. We are at about 30 and New York uh, is the longest with 33 minutes. So we're not, I mean, you, you can see the numbers are really, really close. Dude. So we're a little above average, but do most people think it's worse than that? I know people have it worse, but when you look at the average, you hear so much about Houston traffic and how horrible it is. And it is. On the low key, I like it because I want to spend more time with you guys. Right. And I don't ever talk. I don't really talk about that on the air. It's like the oil and gas guys. They're not upset when gas prices go up, but they don't really talk about it. Right. When you guys are spending a lot of time in the car, that's good for like, me yeah, and us. Like that's good for Alex. So I'll, yes. go into, I'll go into KPRC and the people that go, like the photogs that go out on assignment, they're yeah. like, like, like the other day I came in, he goes, really? Meditation? Meditation in the car? Because you were doing a meditation, we were doing a meditation bit. I said, don't do it in the car. So, right, right, right. I no, said they, to do it. They said it was hilarious. They were cracking. So they'll tell me about what we were talking about because they're always on the road. They're always chasing a story. They're going here. They're going there. And in this city, that's kind of like the first thing. Like if there's a, if there's an assignment, I go, okay, where is it? Like where, how we, how far are we talking here mm -hmm. to get to the destination? 
And in this city, it's, yeah, 30 minutes, you're lucky if it's a a 30-minute drive. I think, I think I think one of the things that sets us apart and that puts us kind of in a New York and an L.A. thing, which is, you know, depending on how you think. I mean, it's just company of big, big cities. A lot of places in Buffalo, for instance, which is a small city, but I think it's very it's very common. There's a morning drive and there's an afternoon drive here. Once the morning drive hits, there's just drive time driving. There's just driving. Anybody want to come down even at noon to the Galleria? It's a mess. Nope. It's just it never lets up. It just it's it start, It starts yeah. in the morning and it kind of goes until about seven o'clock at night. Yeah. Um, and it's just always bad. Yeah. So that's what kind of maybe sets us apart. Look at the drive times in like the midday drive times or the afternoon drive times. They're they got to be up there in, in the nation's worst, you know. Again, we don't hate it in the job that we do. So, um, <laughs> let me take a break. Are we? We're doing ready? this. You're ready. I, 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 not today. That's the only thing I've said is it doesn't go up to a thousand today. There was yeah. only one of those, and that unless it does, and she blew it. Everybody off. Would I lie? Maybe. I'm not above it. I know we're playing Risk It for the Biscuit, and I know we're going to play after the break, man, so don't go anywhere. Yo! Hey, what's up? It's your brother, Rod. Talking about my good friends over at Shell Federal Credit Union. Well, if you're going to get into traffic and, you know, you might as well be in a car that you love, man. Maybe you need an auto loan to get something new. Uh, It's a perfect time. It's always a perfect time to get a new vehicle, right? Enjoy $250 cash back from Shell Federal Credit Union on every auto loan because saving money is always awesome. And two skip a pays per year. That gives you the flexibility to enjoy those days in the car. Stuck in traffic. Uh, And don't forget to ask about 90 days deferred payments to allow you to jumpstart your uh, adventures. So whether you're dreaming of a new set of wheels or you're looking to upgrade your current ride, don't let your dream car drive away. Visit shellfcu.org today or text 713-844-1100. Make it happen.
stop and go traffic on I-45 between I-10 and East Tex downtown. It's about a five minute delay. The biggest delay is still this accident on the South Loop eastbound at Cullen. It's blocking three right lanes. Traffic from Kirby, guys. You're in a 40 minute delay if you don't take Alt 90 or Belfort. Those are your two options. That's your rec check on 84.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five the buzz. Welcome back, Rod Ryan Show. Free beer Friday. Thank you, Specs, coming on board with us all year again. That's great. I have one case of beer left at nine, and then we'll do open phones Friday. And then I've already kind of tipped my cap that about an hour from now we're going to play for the first time ever on ninety-four five the buzz. Uh, we're going to play Des Rocks. And uh, the song is a rocker, and it's great. And I'm so excited that we're playing it. And uh, it's not so much a reward for him calling in, but it, obviously he's got a ravenous fan base. What did we say? They were the filthy animals? The, the Des, filthy animals. Des Rock's filthy animals. Holly's leading that group up. She's excited. So, yeah, we're going to play some uh, music in addition to taking your calls in the 9 o'clock hour. Mostly cloudy today. High of 87. 20% chance of rain. Now the rain this weekend. 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms tomorrow. Cooling off. 78 will be the high. Uh, 50% chance of those morning showers on Sunday. The high, 65. What's trending? Yes or no, do you want the scalding hot tea? Yes or no, do you want tea that is scalding hot right now? I, I feel like you're being very literal because I just poured myself a cup no, of tea. No. I just I brought tea in here. I'm talking but about no, metaphorical. Because I know it's dumb. It okay. Listen. If it's to me. about Kim Kardashian comments me. on internet, listen to me. Go. Thank you, Amy. Is one of the songs on Taylor Swift's new album that just dropped that already is streaming. It's already the most streamed song on U.S. Apple Music. Thank you, Amy. She capitalizes. The, the K, the I, and the M, okay? Kim Kardashian. This whole song, oh, Jesus. she is eating Kim Kardashian alive. She's saying, your kids are going to come home singing songs that only the two of us are going to know. They're about you. And she talks about how she made her life miserable. She talks about how her mom is a saint, but that Hang on. she I, her mom wished death upon her. I don't know. Oh, my God. No. I can't handle it. I got to go. I'm getting the audio and I'm getting the visual of her spazzing out right now. I, is, <sighs> is it coming across on the radio how freaked out she is right now? Listen to me when I tell you. Yeah, I'm not. I listen. I'm all for the art and the poetry and the poet <laughs> society, but there is nothing more I love than a good down, just a scrum, a scrum of like, hey, you know what? It's my time. This is your revenge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brutalize you. You're using with this all song. your time. Okay, so look, look, look that's is like the that's like the scrolling piece. What do you know about Brittany Cartwright? How do you know Brittany Cartwright? She's headlining. She's got awesome warlocks. Okay, she is headlining the Looking at Girls blog page, but she's a reality show star. She was on Vanderpump Rules for years. She married Jax, who is possibly one of the greatest reality trolls of all our time. I know how to get the clicks. Okay, so that's on the Looking at Girls blog page, doing well. And then the Fanny Friday. I thought her name was Michelada, Gemma Michelada. <laughs> it's Gemma Michaela. I was like, ooh, Michelada. <laughs> Um, but that blog page is doing well. Thank you, listener Mike. Uh, you were the reason for that submission today. And honestly, thank you to all for listening to What's Trending on 94.5 The Buzz. I wish I could hop into a time machine and just go back like a yeah. minute, two minutes. You can't really get that back, can you? You're welcome. And then just say, I can't find your music. You're let's just, welcome. Let's just skip trending today. Thank me later. <laughs> I don't know that anybody hung through that. <laughs> I, I really don't. I mean, he's. I'm begging you to please... <laughs> I'm Look at Chili. Look at Chili. Beg you to Pearl hang Jam. Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam's not trending. Chili. I'm going to listen to Pearl Jam. Believe me when I say I'm listening to both albums this weekend. I'm going to listen. Hey, I'm going to uh, Charles. <laughs>
Hey, you know that uh, hey, we are an alternative station. Yes, we play I Pearl will be, Jam. I will have a review for you. On we don't play the Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift and the Pearl Jam albums. Come Monday. You know what? You're welcome. You, you, Emma, and uh, Mundo can call each other after sh- the show, and y'all can have a powwow Mundo, about. Text <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mundo, about no, text Taylor me about Swift. the tea. You know, I know you stayed up listening to it. Can we play my favorite game, please? Can yes, I, I yes. Guess so. All right. Risk it for the biscuit. Um, Chili, we're going to play on Monday, too. We are going to play on Monday, but th- 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 let's do this. All right. Cash. On a Friday, the great Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, gave us some money to give to you. D- do you have what it takes? Do you want to risk it for the biscuit? Wh- what is your threshold? Where? Who wants to play? Come. Yeah. Come on. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show on this free beer Friday. Uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. More everything. Don't worry about that. Uh, Our last case of beer comes uh, 30 minutes from now. Alternative income, a chance to win some cash. We'll get you the keyword and all that good stuff. We're going to leave you with Weezer tickets. Um, But this was thought to be the last day of risk it for the biscuit, but uh, I've already, I just, this is why they don't tell me anything here at the station. I was going to wait till now to tell you that we're going to play on Monday. And I think I blurted it out in homeroom this morning. Extra innings. Uh, We're going to play on Monday again, but let's just focus on today's game. It's day five. I think everybody knows how to play, but I still will explain who's going to be playing here. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Well, hello. Who's this? This is Crystal. How you feeling? 
I'm feeling pretty awesome. This is so exciting. It's very exciting, and it's been stressful. Yesterday, we all were looking at each other, freaking out. We're invested in this as well. I want you to walk away with cash. Um, nobody's been zonked. Nobody's been blown up on. Everybody has left the show with money. So I'll ask you one question, and I'm going to leave it at that, Crystal. I don't want to know the number. Do you have a stopping point? I really don't. I don't want to tank. It's, I don't have a number. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. I don't, I don't want to be the only one to tank. That's okay. She's uh, got vibes. That guy, that guy yesterday said that he had that number in his head, and he said as difficult as it was, he stuck to it, and, and it really, really worked out for him. So um, nothing left to do other than play the game. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mr. Adler for being so unbelievably cool and me going to him and bringing him silly things and – here, read these song lyrics for us and stuff. He's so awesome. He's so awesome. So shout out to the Texas Hammer. It's his money. Um, take it, Crystal. Take it. You ready? Awesome. Yes. Okay. Where are you right now? What, what, I want to know, like, the setting that you're in. I'm actually at work. I'm in my office, okay. kind of just hanging out. You have your own office? Are you in a cubicle? I have my own office. I'm here. Door shut. Uh, doors wide open. Wide open. Does, ah. does anyone at work know that you're on the ear live with us right now? Nobody knows. It's okay. Friday. Half people are gone. <laughs> <laughs> You're sounds, focused. Sounds like our place. All right. Yes. Take a big deep breath, everybody. This is Crystal. Come on, Crystal. Who told me that she wants to risk it for the biscuit. Day five. Alex, light that wick. There goes the fuse. There it is. All right, we're on. Good luck. Awesome. Yeah. It's a pretty good weekend. No! 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 Me no. Right now. no, I was the one. You. <laughs> Why were you stressing me out? Why didn't you stop, you greedy girl? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I what, literally got so on. scared when that bomb went off. <laughs> where, where did it go off? After four? After four. Oh. I started to get stressed. That's where I start to get stressed no matter what. It's the shortest one of the week by far, oh, too. Oh, man. The shortest one of the week. Crystal. You get nothing. No. Oh. I don't, it's I, good though. It's good. I, I'm not <laughs> it was the, fun. I'm not prepared. I don't know what to do right now. I literally flung my headphones off of my ears when that <laughs> when that bomb went off. That's a bummer. Oh. Crystal, I hope you have a great weekend. I will. Thank you guys. It was still fun. I mean, there's not even a t-shirt. There's nothing. You get nothing. We love you. Candle we get our love. Is there a koozie <laughs> around here or something that we could give her? Do we have any stickers? Oh, it's brutal. <sighs> Crystal, have a great weekend. Thank you. You guys, too. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. I blame you. Is it still Friday, even? <laughs> Am I still in a good mood? I don't know. I'm confused. All right. Well, we're going to play on Monday. I know that. It's a system of a down toxicity. Yeah, what a bummer. It's 94.5 The Buzz.
94.5 The Buzz. That wizard's in a mood today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he puts that stuff in. He's, he's <laughs> What's Friday. Going? He's got that Friday feeling thanks to Rebecca Black. Oh, uh, no. Please. What? I will stick up for the wizard. Rebecca Black was all Alex this morning. You think the wizard put Rebecca Black in there? Yeah. No. And then I see her on our- I think they both did. I see her on our Twitter feed now. It's like, get Rebecca Black off our Twitter feed, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Now. Immediately. Um, good morning, everybody. I hope everybody- Friday. Uh, I hope everybody, and especially Crystal, is off to a good start to their day today. Or mostly Crystal. Mostly cloudy. 20% chance of rain. High of 87 today, and then uh, some rain. 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms tomorrow. High of 78. 50% chance of morning showers on Sunday. Uh, high of 65. What, what else needs to be said about Crystal? There wasn't any losers this week. And the game is risk it for the biscuit. Um, that teacher was listening this morning. Do you remember yesterday? I said there was a teacher. You guys know who oh, he is. Oh, that listened. And, and he was listening. He was listening in the classroom with his students. The and kids he was, like to listen. But he was turning it into some sort of a learning exercise um, on you know where they think it's going to go. I don't know if they're talking about probability or I don't know what. The, maybe he's just odds. Lis- I think he's just listening to the show with his kids. To be honest with you, uh, <laughs> brother Rod, my students are ready. The bets are down. <laughs> Now, bet. Now, hey, He's like, now this is called an odd. But These he, are the odds. Here's what they want if they win. So he had them guess where they thought, how much money the person was going to get, where the explosion was. I mean, we're talking about, these are the steaks, honey buns, um, sunflower seeds, computer mm. time. Oh, dang. Uh, the winner gets their choice of some of these things. Dang. So He's they, doing his own prize wheel Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. So they were they were doing that in the classroom. I, how old are they? This is going to be a better <laughs> idea. Um, that's funny. Uh, James says, you guys need to get some shirts made up. The loser of Risk It for the Biscuit at least gets a shirt that says, I risked it, but got no biscuits. <laughs> okay. What a game. Um, we're going to play on Monday. Um, and it'll be at 820. So a three-game day on Monday show, Alex. Again, Let's do it. We'll do, we'll do fresh out of bed head to head. We'll do the the proper Texas Hammer game. Fresh out of bed head to head at six twenty, then the Texas Hammer game at seven twenty, and then our Jim Adler Texas Hammer risk it for the biscuit at eight twenty on Monday. So that'll give you a reason to get up, you know. Um, alternative income got a chance to win a thousand dollars coming up at nine ten. We have Open Phones Friday coming up. We're going to play Des Rocks at around 920. We're going to leave you with Weezer tickets. I mean, there's still a ton more show to get to, man.
610 South Loop, eastbound at Cullen. Uh, an accident's blocking three right lanes. Alt 90 or Belfort have been your alternate routes this morning. Another accident just popped up on I-45 northbound after Telespin. That one's blocking two right lanes, and there's not as big of a delay, but there's still traffic from Woodridge. Uh, five minutes as of right now, going to set you back. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four and five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. All right, it's getting close now to that last case of beer. Uh, I just heard from the teacher that was playing the risk it for the biscuit for the class. Okay, uh, it's sixth and eighth graders. They're in a dyslexia tutoring class. Okay, um, Rod, they just went nuts hearing you talk about them on the radio. <laughs> the winner was Hennessy, and she won. Moon pies. Hennessy with the moon pies. They're doing this. They turned this into a math lesson, probability, ratios, percentage. They did it all. I'm risking it for the biscuit. Congrats, Hennessy. Good win today. Woo. All right, let's go. Offspring, 94.5 The Buzz. All right, let's go. 94.5, The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. All right, we're getting close. We're getting close, man. Another case of beer coming up. Thank you, Specs. Uh, Nick's been listening to this show a long, long time. Okay. And he just low-key sends me an email. And he's not wrong. Uh, I, I was talking in front of, uh, I guess it would have been the system of a down song. And he's like, Brother Rod, I've been listening a long time. Just letting you know you left a lot of meat on the bone on the intro <laughs> to that system of a down song. Thanks for the air check, dude. So I emailed him and I said, you and I both know I can hit the post anytime. Okay. <laughs> if I do it all the time, it's a little too showy, you know. It's not going to brag. So when it came to that offspring intro, destroyed the post, emailed him back. That was for you, bro. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Are Dean and Raj talking to their listeners like this? They're not. Why would you bring them up? I we don't were having know. a nice time. We because were having a good show. I've been a little off since Rebecca Black was on the show, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've been on. That one like put me <laughs> right where I needed to be. Rebecca Black and you're trending. I don't know. It's throwing <laughs> me off a little today. Mostly cloudy, 20% chance of rain, high of 87, 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms tomorrow. 78 will be the high. 50% chance of morning showers on Sunday, 65. 
test it with Houston's headlines. Lawyers in the Donald Trump hush money trial will be selecting six alternates today. So a 12-member jury has finally been chosen for this trial in New York, which could begin Monday. The former president, as we know, is accused of falsifying records to cover up a hush money payment um, to an adult film star before he was elected in 2016. And we know that they were having some difficulty choosing or getting these jurors, yeah, right? Of course they are. Um, so day three of the trial, um, they're hopeful they'll finish. And Trump addressed reporters afterwards, after the court adjourned for the day. He said that uh, he was supposed to be a lot of different places campaigning. And he repeated the claims that these proceedings, that the, that it's a very unfair trial. The other thing, and I, I'm not going to put you on the spot right now, but he's asking to be um, allowed to not go to court on the day Barron has got a graduation coming up. Oh, yeah. And the judge hasn't ruled yet if he's going to allow him to go see his son graduate. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's so that's something that's pending. I don't know if they've come to a, an agreement on that yet or if it's been determined what's going to happen. But he has asked. Important question. You know, he wants to see his kid graduate. Of course. Of course. Uh, here in Houston, Tesla's layoffs include an undetermined number of employees in our area. So Tesla is the largest manufacturer of electric vehicles, and they let go about 10 percent of their workforce this week. The company emailed the affected workers early on Monday, basically saying they're out of a job. Many of the thousands of cuts involve employees at Tesla's headquarters and factory in Austin, which is just up the road from us, as well as the Houston area service centers. So local workers say the layoffs came without warning other than a recent slowdown in their workload. So there's uh, the local happenings. It's been a long week, and you might want to try to beat this guy's record tonight if you're uh, feeling snazzy and up for it it's a 69 year old australian dude he broke a world record by hitting 120 different bars in a single day the previous record was 99 he started at a hotel bar in sydney australia and then spent the next 24 hours walking around to 119 more bars around the city uh, he had to order a drink at each place and consume at least 125 milliliters of each drink, just over four ounces. So that's about a third of a beer, but it doesn't have to be an alcoholic drink. So if he would have done that, uh, yeah, he would have taken down like 40 beers in a single day. I think we got a blog page up on him. I didn't know go. that you didn't have to. That's why I thought there's no way Guinness is going to, uh, what is it, accreditate this. Yeah. They don't want you binge drinking. Verify it. But you right. don't have to. It didn't have to be beer. Yeah. Or alcohol even. Right. You just have to get in there, spend some time in there, drink a, basically a third of your beer. All right. Or water. Um, I have a, a bunch of different streaming news, so I just put it on here. Netflix has confirmed a fifth season for The Witcher. If you guys know who Henry Cavill is, he uh, played Superman. That's my mom's number one guy. Right, and so he was great in The Witcher, and this is his big franchise with Netflix. But then he said that he was he was quitting the show because it wasn't being true to the original like storybooks. Mm -hmm. So they had to replace him, and people are like, you can't replace him. Well, Liam Hemsworth has agreed to do it, so now there's going to be a four fourth and fifth season they're going to be filmed back to back and that'll complete the witcher franchise so i know a lot of people kind of were waiting on that then um fallout which is something it's a sci-fi series that both alex and i have watched on amazon prime it's based on a video game and it's pretty new but we have the news that it has been renewed for a second season walton goggins walton goggins is uh, the main character one of the main characters and it's phenomenal if you guys have some time this weekend no kids i would say no kids it's very gory. Gory, yeah. Um, did you watch Last of Us? I did not. I didn't play the video game. I played Fallout. Fallout was one of my favorite games. Okay. I never played lot Last of Us. I never played that video game, but I really enjoyed that. But Pascal, Pascal. Pedro Pascal, yeah. He can't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? Like, he's so good. Speaking of Last of Us, that was Max's, Max streaming service. Um, that was their number one watched uh, film until the Quiet on the Set docuseries came out. So oh, now, So now Quiet on the Set is has broken Max's streaming record with 1.25 billion viewing minutes. So that's kind of your streaming update uh, for the for the day. And Netflix is, is slated for a big year because uh, Squid Game is coming back yes. and Cobra Kai. Wow. Those are both coming back, huge. which two shows that I think all of us watched. Those are huge. Uh, happy 420 Eve, everyone. To celebrate, Billboard.com put together a list of 25 stoner songs for all those celebrating tomorrow's weed day, bro. They're ranked by potency. 
Uh, you have Mary Jane, Rick James. You have Stay High, Three Six Mafia. What am I listening to right now? Oh, I brought you some Black Sabbath. Oh, okay. I couldn't make it happen earlier today, but I got Sweet Leaf here. That Sweet made the list. Leaf, Sweet Leaf is number seven on this list. Uh, Smoke Two Joints, which was what we were playing by Sublime in the first headlines. That's yeah. number five on this list. So go check it out. Uh, those are Houston's headlines. Hi, Alex. Hello, Rod. Hope you have a good 420 tomorrow. I hope you also have a good fortune. And with tomorrow. your spirits. I just know that, you know, you vacationed for the first time. and No, I'm not going to be in Jamaica tomorrow. You came back a changed man. So, um, um, what's going on in sports? Well, the Astros are back in action tonight. They're going to open up a weekend series with the Nationals in D.C. Justin Verlander is going to be on the mound for the Strohs in his first start of the year. He'll be going against Washington's McKenzie Gore. First pitch is at 545. You can hear that one on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. In the NBA, the play-in games continue tonight at 6 o'clock. The Heat play the Bulls for the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Then at 8.30, the Pelicans take on the Kings for the final playoff spot. Spot in the West. You can watch both of those games on ESPN and TNT. The NBA playoffs officially start tomorrow. So do the Stanley Cup playoffs. In soccer, Houston Dynamo FC is going to be back on the field tomorrow night. They're going to host Austin FC at Shell Energy Stadium. That'll kick off at 7.30. You can watch it on Apple TV. That is what's going on in sports. Okay. What's up? It's your brother Rod talking about Red Mountain Weight Loss. They've got your semaglutide. Semaglutide is what you're hearing about on all the socials. All the celeb talk is semaglutide. Everyone's looking so good on those red carpets, right? Well, it's semaglutide. Red Mountain Weight Loss has it in stock and ready to ship today. And they're going to give you options now. If you want the injection, great. Tablet form, sure. You can lose up to 15 pounds in a month's time. Plenty of time before summer. People are hopping on this now to get ready for summer. Lose weight, look awesome during the summer with semaglutide from Red Mountain Weight Loss. Full strength. It's less than half the price of Ozempic. It's less restrictive than other diets, and that's what makes it. You're still going to have to put in some work, okay? But it's less restrictive because the semaglutide really does help. How about losing up to 15 pounds in a month's time? Full strength semaglutide from the trusted leader in medical weight loss, injections or tablets, your choice. Dial pound 250 from your phone, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Okay, let's check out your commute. There is an accident still on the south side that is affecting the south loop eastbound at Cullen. Blocking three right lanes, traffic from Kirby. You can take Alt-90 or Belfort. Those are your alternate routes if you're going eastbound on 610 South. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz.
All right, here we go. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Good morning. Hey, who's this? This is Bubba. Bubba, you want some beer? Of course you do. Yes, sir. Is there a Bubba that doesn't want beer? No, I don't think it exists. <laughs> dude, congratulations. <laughs> My man Bubba, you got the fourth and final case of beer today, dude. All right, all right. It only took me 20 years to do it. Yeah, what part of Conroe are you from? Well, I'm calling from Belleville, Texas. Oh, Belleville. Okay, even better, dude. Congratulations. That's awesome. That's All awesome. Right. Thank y'all. Tell the guys over, do a good job. Tell the guys over at Belleville Meat Market I said what up. Because that's... I mean, All right, I will. The Poppin' Burgers. You know them real well. That is your treasure. of the. That is like the true, the, the, the shining star in Belleville um, is the Belleville meat, meat Market. Man, it's just... It's like Graceland for meats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stays bu busy seven days a week. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Bubba, have a great weekend. Uh -huh, thank you, sir. All right, man, I need you to hang for a second. I pulled, pulled Chili in here. Hey, Chili, what do you want? What's up, man? What is going on? Do you know what's going on, Chili? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. How does he know? I don't tell anybody anything. I, I know what's going on. What's going on? Nor do I have to explain myself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm always okay. in the know. Okay. Well, that, <laughs> hey, as you would say, great radio. That is great radio. Yeah. <laughs> this is great radio right here. Oh, God. Don't make a mess. Ah. Ooh. Would you do me the honors? Do you? Of course. You Would want you? me to drink from this? No. I, <laughs> I got you. I got you. We're, not trying to, we're not trying to get sick. Okay, what is it? Well, it was a big, big thing that happened this week, and we got all we always get busy, you know. And one of the things that I'm trying to do now that I have 20 years under my belt, jeez, I was just having a discussion with a friend of mine, and we're talking about the events that we do, and they're like, "Is that fun? Do you like it?" I said, "You know what? It's an event, and I'm trying to get through it, and I'm always just trying to get to the next thing." Right. And I wanted to recognize that this week, Alex celebrated nine years of being nice. yeah of being on the rod ryan show so i brought in a little champagne that's not thanks man Look at this. i appreciate the hell out of every one of you i don't know how you made it nine years well i know how you made it nine <laughs> years i do know how you made it nine years yeah, by chilly. by never effing up <laughs> yeah guy, that's what you told me day one don't the, don't eff it up that's that's it when you get this job i'm like don't eff it up i feel like i'm giving away Ooh. A key to the castle. I feel like it's a golden ticket, and the kid treated it like he was given a golden ticket. Um, and he's treated it that way every day. He works, and it, this isn't the right way to be, but he works like he's going to get fired every day. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is a great way to explain but, it. But I do that, too. So I wanted to do a toast. Nine years, because it just came and went during the week, and yeah. I wanted to recognize. Cheers to Alex Thanks, P. Man. and his Thanks, nine Cheers, years. Hey, buddy. That's awesome. Hopefully I feel like there should be, nine more. I feel like there'd be nine more. I feel like there'd be Christmas presents in here with like, drinking yeah. in here. The fact that we're doing it out of styrofoam <sighs> coffee cups, champagne, so like, fitting. so on brand. It keeps it our level. Yeah. So on brand. But but one of and I and I'll do this and I and I will wrap this up. So thank you. And and I wanted to say thanks to everybody. And I thought everybody just needed a sip of champagne this morning. <laughs> I never, ever, I never talk about the ratings on this morning show. I just don't. I, you know, people ask, like I Netflix. say, we're doing well. You know what I mean? We're doing well. We're doing really, really good. And that's all thanks to you. And I just feel like it's self-serving. Kind of like I thought I was going to be doing this whole 20 year thing this whole year. And then I just, I'm not comfortable like just talking about that. It's just, I don't mind a mention here and there. Yeah. I thought it was okay. going to, I thought it was going to be a lot more and I just backed off on all of it. I'll say this, our ratings meeting yesterday, you were already, you were already gone, but the, the twins were in here. Mm-hmm. I'm 30 years into this silliness. Okay. Okay. 20 years here on the air and doing mornings. Last year was our biggest year ever when it came to ratings. And what we were told yesterday has never happened to me in my career. Really? The number ones across the board yeah. on everything. Hell yeah. I'd never, I've never been on the receiving end of that. We've been number one, okay, for a long time. But the amount of number ones... Every number one. Like that, all the demos that we're not expected to be number one in. Every number one that's available. 
Okay, from the young farts to the old farts. Wow. Number one across the board. So awesome. that's for everybody. Cheers. And that's to everybody listening. They probably know we play Rebecca Black sometimes. I'm not I'm not gonna sit around and talk about ratings and I am not, but I, I just yesterday was a huge day. Good. It was a huge day. And thank you all. I love every single person yeah, in this man. room, but I love everybody that listens to this show. Absolutely. Okay. And I know this sounds like some going away thing. It's not. Yeah. Tessa's like, no, no, no. Tessa's know, like, like, are like, are you leaving? Please Why keep listening to us. Bro. 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 Let, let's each say something we like about Alex. I like the way he throws headphones. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he has like we such a to style to this. it. I like the way he, when he loses read my lips, he doesn't talk on the show for the rest of the show. I That's like the way true. he looks at me like I'm stupid. I like the fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's two things. You very sure two I things. I like now. the fact that he looks like me. Yeah, yeah. It's I like, also like that fact. What do you yeah. like? You like that about you? I confuse you two all the time in the yeah. hall. Yeah. I mean, Weird. people were asking me if I had been here nine years. And I was like, no, 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 that's my that's grand Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. All right. It really is to you listening to the radio. That's where the real thank you is because it's we didn't. It, it's you making the show that popular and, and stuff. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'm not going to sit around and talk about ratings anymore. Uh, I always wanted to be the homecoming queen. Thank you all. <laughs> people uh, inhale one nice cold water. Tessa. Okay. <laughs> we got to give you a chance. So popular. Nine years, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Alex. Thank you, bro. I love you. Uh, Love you al- too, man. Alternative income. We come back. We're gonna rock Des Rocks, yeah. and then I promise it is your hour. Okay, um, you're gonna get your phone calls, and we're gonna do open phones. All right, that's all on the way. Let's talk about cars. Let's talk about your ride. You uh, need to get in something new. Why not go check out my friends? My friends, Jeff and Tiffany Sebastian. Those are the owners of Classic Elite Chevy Sugar Land. And uh, right now you can get 0% interest for 72 months on all Chevy Silverados. You can get $15,000 off select Silverados, $4,000 off the 2024 Tahoes, and $7,500 off the 2024 Blazer. That's what I'm cruising around in right now. Now, just so you know, there's employee pricing for everyone at Classic Elite Chevy Sugar Land. They're the GM dealer of the year now 13 years running 13 years consecutively in a row you want to talk about excellence okay together let's drive go over there tell them tessa from the buzz sent you and don't forget classic chevy highway 6 classic elite chevy highway 6 they're open on sunday so check out my friends at classic elite
There's a disabled vehicle blocking a center lane, 290 eastbound, the direct connector. It's stop and go traffic there from Antoine. There's some road construction closing a right lane on 288 between Orem and Airport. And then the accident that was at about a 50 minute delay is now at a 20 minute delay on 610 South Loop eastbound at Cullen. Now just one right shoulder blocked instead of three lanes. So if you want to jump on Alt 90 or Belfort, those are still some options for you. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. I promise we're doing open phones when we come back. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Welcome back. I promise I'm getting to your phone calls. Uh, we're not going to sit here and just uh, talk about ourselves this hour. Uh, so we're coming never to you. Do. But but Mundo sent such a funny email. I, I wanted to share it because we're going into the kids segment for right now. But Mundo, who's been listening to this show forever, he's like, "Look at what I sent to your boy." This was the first email that I sent to Alex, and he did respond. It's from 4-27-2015. It says, I just wanted to say, welcome to the RRS family. Don't F it up. Good luck. <laughs> Loyal listener, Mundo. And yet, didn't even listen to him. I did. From, uh, from, <laughs> from Alex Middleton. Thank you very much. I will try my hardest not to. Oh. Such a sweet and now boy. And best friend. You used to be nice. I still am. You have, uh, you've turned completely I'm healed. Very nice. Monster. Very nice guy. <laughs> so while I said that you haven't effed it up, some of these have been a little That's close. That's what AOL is. They're some of these have been close. Loosey-goosey. This is a really good one. You're going to love this it one. better be good. I mean, You're we just gonna put you up. You're going to love this one. So today's <laughs> AOL is called Hold the Button. And that is wow. all you will be doing on oh. today's AOL. You're paying for that champagne. Innovative. You are. <laughs> I didn't know that there was going to be champagne, wow. so you cannot, you can't put that on me. Uh, so all you gotta do is use your your mouse, your finger, if you're on your phone, just hold it down. Just hold, hold we'll it see down. See how long you can do it. Hold it down like Alex has That's for nine it. years. I've been holding it down for a minute twenty five <laughs> right now since we started. Um, so stupid. The, the, <laughs> oh, you laughed. The real You're reason drunk. I gave you this game is like one, it's kind of fun to see how long you can put your finger on something and hold a, hold a button down. Also, today, if anybody's asking you to do something at work, pick I'm doing something. You're holding a button. Yeah, are you busy right now? Hey, yes, I am. Yeah, testing it back. Alex, I need you to, can you go do this for me? Uh, no, I'm doing something. What are you doing? I'm holding a button. That's like hold the, it down. That's Alex like the, told me to. The playoff music at the Oscars. Absolutely. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> go check it out. Hold the button. World Premier's Rod Ryan Show page at thebuzz.com. I'm going to take a picture of the champagne. <laughs> All right, come on. All the calls. Heather, good morning. Hey, good morning, Rod. I believe this hour is supposed to be yours for open phones. What would you like to talk about? Okay, so before you come at me for doing a birthday shout out, she really deserves it. Okay, you're allowed. She really deserves it. No, 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 that's allowed. Okay. Asking me to do it is not so much allowed, but you can do it. This is your hour. Go ahead. Yes, and I and I even sent you and Chilia um, an email. Uh, she just been listening to the army. She turns eighteen tomorrow on four twenty. Her name is Kaylee Sampsill. She's from Santa Fe, and I hope she has a wonderful day, and I love you so much, Kaylee. That's awesome. That's awesome. You're a badass, Kaylee. That's the way you do a birthday shout-out. Josh Tree, also known as Alex's Jerome. Yes, Josh Tree, how are you? I'm good. How are y'all doing? Wonderful. Now that you're on. (laughs) <laughs> you don't get a lot. <laughs> I what just wanted to give a shout out to Alex, man. Congratulations, brother. Thanks, dude. Couldn't have done it without you, specifically. You, you, you probably could have. Could have. <laughs> you could have definitely. I don't know. Josh has been uh, a no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, we should go out and celebrate, man. We haven't partied in a while. It's you were a just at the golf tournament yeah. Wednesday. Literally yeah, but that's a week different. ago. <laughs> that's a while. That's get, work. Get him out charity. of here. That's charity and work. Yeah, hit me up, dude. Get him out of here. He was just partying on Wednesday. That was for charity. 
We haven't partied in a while. That was a charity party. That's not a real party. That's <laughs> like that was like we were doing it for a cause. For someone else. Now you want to do it for themselves. To do it. Mile, right. of, Mile of Meat Paul, you're next up on Open Phones. Good morning. Good morning. It's one of the guys that got married from the uh, Mile of Meat. What's up? I just wanted to call and wish my wife a happy 40th birthday. Oh, good call on so that, nice. man. Great call on that. How long have you guys been married now? Uh, Three years in June. Three years in June. But you were together for at least three years before that, huh? Uh, we've been together for five years now. Damn. Okay. Awesome. And we have a baby coming in June also. I forgot. Nice. Yeah. Oh. It's a good month for babies. Yeah, they brought some kids into the relationship, but now they got their own coming. Way to go. Way to slip one past the goalie. All right, <laughs> Karen the crazy cat lady. Karen. What's going on, Allie? Karen? I was talking about, well, no, I was asking for cat people to call, but I didn't want you. That was the one time I said I, I wanted to talk about cats, but I didn't want you calling because I was biased. I was quizzing people if they knew how many paws or how many fingers or claws or whatever they are, uh, yeah. how many digits their cats had. I knew, yeah, you, yeah, I knew yeah. you'd know. Well, 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 that I heard about it through the uh, grapevine <laughs> at uh, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they said, <laughs> yeah, oh, my God, like, what? Rod's talking yeah. about you right now, but he doesn't want you to call. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but, but, but like, I was just walking by because, that, like, in the and the the uh, back is 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 a very uh, loud. And I was just, like, walking by my phone because I have y'all. Y'all on on my uh, phone on um, iHeart. I need I need an and... update. I need an update from you. What? What the? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know what that animal perfect. was. Perfect. I don't want to know what's perfect. Animal. Jesus Christ. She. Karen. <laughs> she who, has. She has what? What cats are in your possession that hold a name from either a current or a past Rod Ryan show cast member? Who is around what? in your arsenal over there? Not me. Well. Uh, Phyllis. And, Phyllis is still around. Uh, yep. And okay. uh, Tessa. Phyllis Alex and Tessa. Has, yeah. Alex, Alex cat passed. died. Mm -hmm. he, he he had um, early stage uh, renal failure. And then we all know what happened with Rodney. Rodney the cat's not around either. Yeah. He only have one no, eye. Because of Phyllis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he, Phyllis he, killed he, Rodney. Did Phyllis kill me? He, he had... <laughs> He actually, you know, because his why he has like the uh, one eye was was because he, when he was like a day old, he fell through a wall from an attic in someone's oh house. Oh god! And and um and the mother got so scared and ran off. So uh, Dr. Carmen, she came in, and she's like, she's like, I have two little body babies. And they're like a day old. They had to axe them out of a wall with an axe. Jesus. I, mean, just I could listen to this ah. story all day. I could, but but I can't. I really could. Karen, let her, let her Rodney cut. was a clumsy little cat, wasn't he? Karen, I love you. <laughs> I Is there a chili cat, though? He's got a kidney. Oh, he's got a kidney. Somebody yeah, named true. a that's kidney. That's true. I said I was going to play Des Rocks at 920. That's 920-ish. 929. Des Rocks on the buzz. For the first time ever. Listen to this guy. He's awesome. He called into open phones last week. He's playing Sunday night at Scout Bar. This is called I Am the Lightning 94.5 The Buzz.
94.5 The Buzz. That's Des Rocks. He's our friend. Our boy. Yeah. He's our friend. Uh, he was on open phones last week. Um, I am the lightning. He's in San Antonio tonight, and then he's going to be here in Houston. He's playing Scout Bar on Sunday night. Right. And that was awesome. I've, I've listened to his tracks. It's one thing when you go to YouTube and you're listening on your dumb laptop and you're, <laughs> you're listening to a song. There's just there's still magic to me of being on the radio, and uh, I appreciate the wizard um, for 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 letting that get to get through on the air but it wasn't it deserves to be on the radio that's a great song that's a really really good song uh i'm sure he would appreciate you following all of his socials i'll just give you one to get you started i am des rocks it's d-e-s-r-o-c-s that's where you're going to find him on instagram and but that's how he spells his name so uh one of the best things you can do to uh, a new and up-and-coming artist that you know this guy's grinding i i can't articulate how impressed I was that that guy picked up the phone and just called the regular line that you guys are calling in on to try to yeah. get through for Open Phones Friday to thank his fans yeah, for giving him shout outs and mentions on this show. And, you know, to, to thank us, I said, we didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. It's your fans that love you so much. So again, it's uh, I am D-E-S-R-O-C-S. I am Des Rocks. Great song. Nice. Yeah, really that was a banger. Song. Ba, 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 ba. Open phones? Do we even do open phones? Valerie. Yes, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? So great. I'm having the best day. I really am having the best day. Um yeah, what can we do? What, what can we do with this open phones time? You know, I wanted to give a shout out to all public education teachers in Texas because we are in the thick of April right now mm -hmm. and it's a hot mess. And we're just ready for the end of May to be here so just a shout out stick it out we're almost there <laughs> do you hold on this is what normally teachers have this off like right off the hip do you do you know how many days left i have five mondays left so <laughs> if, I, if nice. I show up on monday i'm good to go for the week so five mondays <laughs> uh, good for you you know how much we love teachers and maybe the all-time greatest teacher ever is uh mama middleton <gasps> yeah, she's on the phone. She's oh, what? wonderful. <laughs> Alex just went. <laughs> he just sat up straight. Yeah. How many how many baby outfits have you bought today, Mom? <laughs> just a couple, just a couple, but <laughs> and some mat some matching things. But I really wanted to call to say thank you to Rod for hiring Alex nine years ago. <laughs> My goodness, you changed our lives. And we're so proud of him. We appreciate Chili and Dinah and Elliot and Tessa and everybody who's been so good to him. You so have, I am so proud of that him. boy. You have thanked me. You are. You are. You, you have, don't mean to be, but you are. But you and your husband have thanked me a thousand times for hiring your kid. I mean. I would be probably in a ditch right now. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have another skill set at all. He did it, Mama P. He really did it. He's got a job and he's had it for nine years here. Nine whole years. How many, <laughs> how many Amazon he boxes? How many Amazon boxes to the house yesterday? What was the box count? No we could we could almost play a game every day. We really could. The <laughs> Mama Middleton just, Amazon count. Just just four or five, but some things are really <laughs> not a big deal. So many. Miss Middleton, we need to go to that consignment sale where I showed you with all the baby <laughs> stuff because they're gonna have some really good stuff. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm just going to mostly be holding her after she gets here. All right. Not changing clothes on her all the time. But thank you so much. We appreciate y'all. Have a great Friday. Thank Love you. you. Thank you. Love you. How great is that? She's, that was great. She's so good. When I say your dad has looked me dead in the eyes. <laughs> they didn't think I, like, they thought I was crazy, man. When I, you are, like, dude. dude, you don't have any prospects lined up? I was like, I'm really just sometimes going to figure it out. Sometimes your dad will start out with, listen, I know I've thanked you before, but he'll just grab my hand. He's like, listen, thank you for hiring that kid. <laughs> when Mark Milton grabs your hand, you better listen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next line, Big D, is that you? What's going on, brother Rob? Bro, where have you been? Why aren't you playing the fresh out of bed head to head? You're like four hours late. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to get in, especially against Big Bad Bread, but somebody took out my light work. Have... <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, I guess you have some history. Some of the guys. Okay, so first of all, Big D won it all two years ago. 
uh, and he got the the sleep set. Mac was hosting at the time, and he got the mattress. He's, Big D's got little kids Just all over in the place. Time for twins that were being born. Yes. So, what else is going on in your life, bro? Uh, not much. I just wanted to call up and say uh, congratulations on 20 years since I haven't, you know, been on for a while. Thank you. Uh, congratulations on nine years to Alex and Tessa. We love you and Chili. You're always amazing. <laughs> that's so nice. It sounds like a guy that's trying to get into fresh yeah, out of bed. Yeah, what do you want, dude? <laughs> no, Yo, let me in. All right, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Big D. Thank you. That's nice. I like when people call to just gas us up. That's cool, dude. Yeah, that is nice. more people should do that. Do you, yeah, do you think he was calling like the post office? Like, hey. Thanks for being my mailman. Dude, I just got the F out of my mail today. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the way you stamped that stamp was amazing. So good. Nick, you're next up on Open Phones. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, good morning. What's up, what's up, man? What you got for us today? I just want to give a shout out to my wife, Nikki. Tell her happy anniversary. How many years? Uh, we've been together for 12 years, married for three. Uh, you waited like Alex. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nine he years? That's the best she way to do really it. really tested wait, wait, wait. out. Wait, he waited nine. How many for you? I waited Before ten. you got married. Ten. You've been together 12 years or waited 10 years? Damn. Yep. Yeah, you know, you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you know. You know when you know. Exactly. Sometimes it takes a little What's while. What's the rush? <laughs> yeah, like you just don't know for 10 years, All naturally. Right. Uh, Nick, what's the wife's name? Nikki. All right, bro. Nick and uh, Nikki. Happy anniversary, and you dude. you know? Yeah. Jeez. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Robert is next up. He's got a fundraiser he'd like to talk about. Hey, Robert. Hey, Rod. How y'all doing today, buddy? That, like the best ever. So thank you. I hope Absolutely. you're having. Hope you're having a great morning. Uh, what would you like to plug? So to this weekend, this Sunday, out at the League City Hometown Heroes Park, we're hosting our third annual uh, auto show, car show, and uh, we hope to have a good turnout again this year. And uh, you can find us on Eventbrite and uh, register on there or show up the day of the event and uh, go from there. We're uh, starting a little bit later this year uh, due to the weather that's coming in Sunday morning, yeah, but right. uh, we are going to have the event and uh, we've already had to reschedule once, but God's going to let us have it and we're going to do it. So, Yeah, Baby Jesus loves fundraisers. Uh, I'm yes. sure you're going to be good. <laughs> what is? And again, real quick, the you have a Facebook page. What's the best way to get a hold of you know information? So you can find us on Facebook at LC EMS Professionals. Um, we our fundraiser raises money for our community outreach, and we've given out over five thousand dollars in scholarships the last couple of years Dude, from this event. So so great! And you're in uh, you're in the EMS field. Yes, sir. Been in it twenty years, bro. Thank you, thank you. I know you've seen some stuff, man. I appreciate. I know lives are saved. Um, well, we appreciate everybody's support. At the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. So, yep. Thank you. You don't, I, I learned so much. I was watching that, that one show, the Night Watch show in New Orleans, and it was the on the overnights, mm -hmm. and it was the EMS people, and the amount of people that are saved in those ambulances. Yeah. Uh, on the way to the hospital, the amount of lives that would not have made it due to what they're doing, first responders right there on the scene. God, it was amazing. All right, we're going to have to wrap this up. Dallas Daniel, good morning. Hey guys, just want to say, hey, first off, congrats on the show success and thank you. Alex, congrats on nine years. Thank you. You made it almost <laughs> there to the decade. <laughs> and I'm going to bug you about the details on Skip Day, man. Yeah. So, okay. There's a list here of a bunch of shots. <laughs> There's still no location. We're pushing it to June. I'm going to say, I'm going to say June. It, it, the date is going to be in June, I think. But I, I, again, I, you know, I don't want, I'd love to give you guys just a date, but boy, if I can't lock in a place, then I, then I, then I gotta go like crawfish that back. So, well, you know, Dallas, Daniel and Daisy, they like need drive to know because know. they have to coordinate <laughs> their life. I, I'll tell you what, when I get the date and, and this is a promise, when I get the date and I get the, where we're going to do it at, you will be my first email, you and Daisy. Okay. Awesome. All right. Sounds great, man. You know, we'll be there. All right. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you everybody. That's why we're number one. Thank you, everybody. Because of Maybe. peeps like that. Dedicated peeps like that. What didn't we give away today yet? Uh, Weezer tickets. Oh, okay, yeah. Yep. We're, we're going to have Weezer tickets on the flip, know the show, and then we're going to turn you loose for the weekend.
Hey, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about my good friends over at Joe Myers Toyota. April shower of savings. They're going to prove that to you this weekend. But it's not a wash, man. Go see them. You can always shop them online. But the April shower of savings, it's springtime. It's the right time for a deal of a lifetime. At Joe Myers Toyota, they make it easy. It's always stress-free. That's where I get all my vehicles from. They're so great to work with. Love everybody over there, okay? Low money down, favorable financing options for well-qualified buyers. As always, Joe Myers Toyota will pay you top dollar for your vehicle at the all-new Joe Myers Toyota Buying Center. So go see them this weekend. You can start online and shop 24-7 at JoeMyersToyota.com. Call 281-890-8700. Five or more available. All finance offers on approved credit. See Joe Myers Toyota for details. Expires 4 30 24 
They're stopping your traffic on 69 going southbound between the George R. Brown and Highway 288. A disabled vehicle is cleared on the West Loop southbound at Hempstead, but there's still some slow traffic from 18th Street. And then the accident on the South Loop eastbound at Cullen, that has cleared. There's still a little bit of traffic from Kirby. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Uh, 94.5 The Buzz. Welcome back. Rod Ryan Show. Here we are. 9.49. I just... Busy. I don't know. It's been, a, it's been a great day. It's been a great day. It's just been busy. I just got through looking at all the, the emails kind of responding to hearing Des Rocks mm-hmm. on, the, like uh, on the show. And it's just everyone. I mean, all the rockers came out and said, this is amazing. This is amazing. Tell the wizard. Regular rotation. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. So, again, I'm not pushing it. I'm not pushing it, but I am sending all those emails uh, to the radio wizard. And I'll just tell you that across the board, uh, minds were blown at that Des Rock song today played on nice. the air. So, And I liked it, too. And I, I, I heard it. I was already kind of familiar with it, but... You know me. There's something about coming out of that magic box called the radio. It just sounds different. And, boy, it sounded good. All right, Weezer time. Uh, We got tickets to go see Squeezer. Know the show. Uh, What's your question? Um, So today was part of it was about congratulating Alex and, and the things he's done in nine years here and how much he's grown. We heard from his mom. But I think it's moves like this one that really just describe him to the fullest what what little oh, song no. snippet no, what little song don't, snippet don't do it. did alex play after right after a guns and roses song i mean it was perfect it was immediately I mean, it was well timed it was art or the worst timing ever it, uh, every friday i play a, a different friday type jingle before we do the free beer friday song just at 8 a.m. when I you always take do that i saw one we hadn't done in a minute no just more hints when you take a step forward you took four backwards Story of my life. today. Okay, Story you're, of my life. You should have known that. By you're now. working in a deficit right now. Uh, all those nice things I said earlier. I'm not sure about them now. Seven one three two one two five nine four five. Don't feel obligated to play it again. <laughs>
There he goes. Look at him go. There he goes. That's Alex shredding. Shredding, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like those little cutesy things at the end. Woo, woo, woo. Really cutesy. That's why I threw him in there for you. I knew you liked us. <laughs> That's the Beastie Boys. And then Alex just shreds on that at the wow. end. It's awesome. It's such a treat for all of us on such a special day. <laughs> uh, good morning. 94.5 The Buzz. Rod Ryan Show. Wrapping up free beer Friday. We already kind of wrapped that up. Thank you, Specs. Uh, but wrapping up all the open phones and everything, there's just really one more phone call um, to take, and let's just go do it. I feel like even though I was blabbing the whole first quarter of open phones, I feel like we still got a lot of calls on. Yeah, you, you did hog the first 20 minutes of it. <laughs> I did. I did. Sorry for being awesome. Uh, good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Later, later. Good morning, guys. Oh, that's what you're little, talking about. Little. Mundo, did you call to talk about Taylor Swift's album? No. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I was trying to earlier, but I also wanted to celebrate Alex and make sure everyone knew to go to PassTheGravyMerch.com Pass the today to celebrate Alex and, you know, wow. buy something. Great hey, idea. open phones are over. Yeah, this is a. Well, this is his time. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, but but this is no the show. And Chili just told me I don't know where he was going with this. He goes, no s. This is really caller number ten. Well, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what he meant by that. It's so, meant to be. Yeah, I was act. I was actually caller three and then caller ten. Okay, now you're just bragging. Just stop. <laughs> now nah, you're just showing off. It's persistency. You got to be consistent and persistent. I guess. All right. Well. um... <laughs> That's a funny email that you sent Alex in 2015. I shared that on the air. I'm sure you heard that. That was funny. Um, yeah. All right, let's go. What is your question, Mundo? Hey, hey uh, Mundo, what <laughs> little snippet did your boy throw in after uh, some Guns N' Roses today? Oh, I see it, too. Was it the uh, Becca Black uh, Friday? Let's play it. It was. You, you said that like you're taking a guess. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I was walking back into my work room. <laughs> but he knows. He knows your body. He knows. He didn't even hear it. He just knows that you were in a Rebecca Black mood today. He could tell. This is embarrassing. It is not. It came on right after GNR, too. Yo, something's got to. Hey. Wizard doesn't always give us. a banger, bro. We don't. Yeah, okay. Banger, Jesus dude. Christ. All What's bangers. It? All right. This show's. This. It's been such a great show, too. Two huge it, it blemishes. It still is. This is one of those two blemishes. I disagree. What are you giving Mundo? Pair tickets to see Weezer. All right. Oh. And this article awesome. about Taylor Swift. Thank you for knowing the show. And, a, and thank you for spilling the tea earlier. I enjoyed it. <sighs> You're so welcome. Thank you for so welcome. losing to me at Connect Four <laughs> at the golf tournament. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I want my rematch, bro. You don't deserve a rematch. rematch. You did nothing to show that you deserve a rematch. You were on steroids. You, I don't know how you beat me <laughs> you like that. Doping. Really? You gotta get, you're doping. Really? You didn't get my <laughs> urine sample before we played on the golf course? I did not. I did not. <laughs> you could have grabbed one off the tree. All right, get out of here. <laughs> have a great weekend, bro. <laughs> Love y'all. All right, love you. Mean it love when you, I buddy. say it. Thank you. All right, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Can't go over. I think Allie's here, too. I don't think Jeremy's in this week. So, yeah. Allie, you have to deal with it. We're late. I could have used a little more cowbell. <laughs> You're going to want that cowbell. I got to have more cowbell, baby. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Well, that's it, man. Um, the biggest upset of the year. Lou wanted that. Lou, you have the best victory speech of the year. Remember he screwed up and you were laughing? You remember, <laughs> Lou has a... He has the... Fun, there she, she just remembered. Lou has the funniest victory speech of the year. <laughs> but the biggest upset happened this morning. Yeah. Okay, fresh Jason beat five-time Hall of Famer Big Bad Brad, who hasn't been on in forever, okay? Maybe you guys should try some new things in the bedroom, Brad. Uh, so Jason's going to try to avoid the one-pump chump on Monday. Open phones, the time that I gave you, I felt you guys did a really, really great job. Good to hear uh, Alex's mom on the show today. Uh, the champagne toast for Alex P. Nine years on the show. That's awesome, man. That's amazing. Thanks Thank for you. Keeping me around that long. <laughs> Thank you to Specs for the beers. Uh, thank you to whoever sent in that Fanny Friday. I saw it was the number one link. Uh, that Des Rock song. It, it was overwhelming how many people 
went out of their way to email me. I know we didn't, normally when we play something new, you know, we take time and people will call in. We do a whole segment on it. I didn't have time for that. Uh, but people emailed and Wiz got every one of those emails, okay? Risk it for the biscuit. We're not done. She didn't win anything today. That's okay. Crystal? She still had a great attitude about it. Crystal? Crystal. Mm-hmm. Crystal, email me your number. What were you stopping at? I didn't ask her. Yeah. I, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I didn't, what happens? Everybody's won money this week, except I'm, okay. not tr- I'm not piling on. You're just I'm like ju- rubbing it in. Crystal, what was your number? Tomorrow, the Rod Ryan Show replay from uh, 6 to 8. Chile has six picks this weekend. Yep. Can't wait. You other dumb dumbs better bring in six picks on his day, too. Maybe. Mm. We just... We got we'll yelled see. at last time we did it. Honing so in I on mine. Know, but when he <laughs> at too we'll see. I can't win. I cannot win here. Uh, nonstop Nooner is coming up. I guess Allie's in for Jeremy. Yep. Alternative income is going to go from 1010 all the way to 510. Pick your tickets at the 1 o'clock hour. Uh, Past the Gravy had a new podcast. Yeah. You put up a new drink video this week. Yeah, I have week. a Specs drink video. Pickle Margarita. Okay. Uh, all the Rod Ryan Show socials, at Rod Ryan Show. Tess is on Houston Life today at 1 o'clock. Astros, Verlander Day? Yes, please. Mm-hmm. Can we just please win? Can we? Ideal. Is he the guy that's going to like kind of right the ship? Yes, yes. Okay. And I said, can Dusty just come by and hang out? <laughs> just like high five us? Can he, what's he doing? Can he just hang out? Just like come by with your bracelet. <laughs> like just sit right behind the plate. <laughs> <laughs> or dug out and, and tell them what to do <laughs> alright that's it we gotta go guys have an awesome weekend everybody thank you again for the things that I was talking about earlier and we're not gonna sit around and talk about ratings on this show but yeah, thank you guys it was, it was just an amazing experience that we're, we're in a great run right now so that's it thank you guys love every one of you AMF